When the stars were still young and new to their posts in the night sky. When the earth still mourned the moon born from it, still dripping with its blood. When the kingdom of Galadron tore itself apart without a king. When the centaur herd still rode wild like thunder across the plains of Iman Karak, there dwelt upon the earth a sorcerer, a hero, a man of great and terrible power and legendary potency. He dwelt in Masru at the end of his life after such deeds as liberating the Tritons from the mental thrall of a terrible kraken and imprisoning the great evil of Elm Spire in a flower through spell and sword. But not even his power could hold back the weight of years, and as the veil of time drew itself over his eyes, and he could feel every single battle he ever fought weighing down his bones, he settled in the city of Masru, in the land of Iman Karak. And there, surrounded by friends and family, he celebrates a life of great deeds, and perhaps goes on one last ride. Welcome to Casters and Castles Season 2. Woo! Uh, hey. My name is Joseph. I'll be your dungeon master for this arc. This arc takes place directly, almost contemporaneous with the Doton's Rock arc. You need not have watched that to follow what's going on here today. Thank goodness. Uh, but you should go back and watch the VODs, buy our stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, our new adventure is taking place with this party. It is set, like I said, in a city I will introduce you to momentarily. But first, let's go around the table, introduce ourselves, a little bit about our characters. We're not meeting you properly just yet. Uh, why don't we start over here and we'll go around this way. Oh, uh, I am uh, Bendis Rambletoon. That's right. I'm a <laughs> half-elven bard. I've been doing the barding thing for a while. Bendis. I've been at the academy for quite a while. Bendis. 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 <laughs> Perfectly fine name yeah, in the Bendis album. Ramble Tune. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's time. It's time for me to go out and craft my first epic. So I'm doing it. Okay. Well, they kind of kicked me out, but I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, also, let's do like your your non character. Oh, sure. Oh, I'm also Eric Doalanquist on the Overwatch <laughs> League. <laughs> His brain short circuit. <laughs> it's like, wait, we're using our made up names. Wait, no, uh, I didn't know. I thought that's fine. No, my character yet. no, you didn't do anything wrong. I'm Eric Doa Lonquist, <laughs> otherwise known as Doa on the Overwatch League, <laughs> I, I, and many I, other games as well. I Doa. have many names. Doa. My name is Eric. Known by Bendis. many names. <laughs> Doa Bendis Bramble <laughs> Bramble Tune Doa Lonquist. That's right. You killed me. I, <laughs> you know, I you try to get a player sponge. kill at least at least one player You're kill up to in the eight first now. You're up to eight That's in your right. career. You eight lifetime. Yep. Problem. Moving okay. on. Stone Cold Killer. That's all you need to know. <laughs> um, I am Ashley Middlebrook, or I'm sorry, uh, I am Ashley Driftwood Ash Middlebrook, uh, and I'm a producer with uh, Overwatch League and Blizzard, and I um, love playing D and D with these nerds in my spare time because I am, I guess, a masochist. Also maybe. A nerd. <laughs> um, also a nerd. Also a nerd. Can't relate. Yeah. Uh, my character is uh, Faden Wanderstay Valensath. My name's hyphenated. You weren't around. It's true. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I have. Uh, I'm a Triton cleric, and I hail from. Oh well, I'm amphibious, so I'm I'm from under the sea, far mm. away. But I've uh, traveled up river to meet my father. Wow. Wonder wow. who that could be. That's touching, huh? That's a weird one. Hi, Dad. Yeah. Oh, this uh, is never, awkward. Yeah, <laughs> never been, never been to, never already been very the, awkward. Uh, never been to the deep, personally. Uh, but I am Bren from the Overwatch Lies. League. I, uh, I DM'd the last Dotane's Rock. I say DM'd. I was a puppet, and Joe was the, <laughs> the puppeteer behind me pulling the strings. And now I'm a player. And uh, I'm going to be playing as Tiberius Wonderstave. And uh, I am an old voice. man. I'm going to try and do the voice as much yes. as possible. And uh, he's Hell 93 yeah. years old. As Joe's already said, he's nearing the end of his, his lifespan. He's retired in a coastal village. Not, not even he can remember the name of uh, most of the time. But he's forgotten a lot of his deeds, a lot of his spells, and a lot of his experience. And he just really wants a peaceful life. But, you know, sometimes he thinks back to the old days and wishes, you know, what, what, what he would give to just have one last hurrah. And uh, luckily, he's got his grandson to take care of him as well. 
Hello. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> uh, my name's Marcus. Oh, yeah. Marcus Tiberius Wonderstave, and uh, I've I've lived a, a quite a quite a sheltered life, but I've been trying to you know branch out and really do things a little bit more because I've got to look after my my grandfather, and he's he's not really all well in the head. What? Honestly. I didn't do my. Don't, inca- don't worry, Granddad. I, what? Shh, don't don't tell him though. If you tell you, him, you're talking to yourself again. Yeah, just Marcus, talk, just talking to the wall again. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it, Granddad. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm I'm uh, I've been working at the stables, and uh, I'm also work part time as a guard as well. I've got to bring in quite a bit of money since uh, my uh, my parents died. Uh, oh, must have been about twenty years ago now. Uh, just after they'd moved here, actually, uh, trying to kind of uh, oh. fend off the terrible people that he kept. Uh, kept coming after him, mm, you know, because he's, he's a lot of enemies. <laughs> wow. like, like, yeah, I didn't friend. know you're supposed to be doing it in character. <laughs> oh, I'm just, you know, I'm. Just I mean, we are now. Ready. This is this is where we are now. Also, side trip from using our made-up voices. <laughs> there it is. Uh-huh. I don't. I don't want to discourage roleplay. This is great, but let's get the show on the road for now. Uh, to get the show on the road, I'm Mika. Uh, hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm playing an Eladrin elf. Uh, she's a princess, and she's a wizard. And that's all I'm going to say for now. And we shall... How concise. I know. Very concise. There we go. Uh, Professional. Professional. All right. Does anyone have any questions, concerns, game-related or otherwise, before we move on? I will be doing introductions. I'll be setting the stage, getting everyone into the scene momentarily. Now let's go. Yeah. I also forgot to say her name is Freya. There we go. Freya. Freya. Freya 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 Amrin. It's a good name. Thank you. It's no Bendis, but... (laughs) <laughs> it's no Bendis, you're right, you're right. Mm, excuse me. All right. Oh, wait, yeah, Mika, you were supposed to do uh, Mika. Oh, yeah, Mika. I'm, I'm Mika, Mika, Mika Burton, Burton. Uh, <laughs> you may know me from Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or Critical Role, I guess. Yeah, you know. Not, not as cool. What a step up from that. I know. Right? <laughs> I went from yeah. Critical Role to an hour and a half setup. I would like, like to congratulate Calm you down. on finally you making hit the next <laughs> level, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, very excited to have everyone here. Uh, some of us are very talented. Some of us are very funny. Some of us are both at the same time. Some of they us were are m- none of those. <laughs> 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 wow. wow. Really? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The tunnel I'm gnome kidding. just got it, it was just so easy. I just, I just took it and grasped it. I'm sorry. Continue, great DM. All right. <clears throat> Harsh sunlight scatters off of the waters of the river Ta, and off the marble and limestone bridges and plazas built over the water. You've gathered in Masru, the city of earthly prosperity, on the great plains of Iman Karak. In the middle of a festival, you sit around a long, low teak wood table covered in a fantastic feast. You are reclined on fine cushioned couches and chairs, dining on candied dates and stuffed figs and roasted doves and crane, honey and pistachios, happy nut day, cheese and olives, (laughs) lamb and deer, vases of wine and great casks of finely aged beer. All of this is possible for two reasons. One, the city of Masru is celebrating a festival, the anointing of a new high priest. The high priest of Masru is the main advisor to the garden queen who rules over it. Whichever high priest is chosen, that temple receives great honor and great influence over the city. It is a big party. Everyone is out here. The nobles in their high cities and their manors, the common folk over the streets, over the bridges that go over the canals. Um, You see below this very nice balcony where you're situated, uh, dancers with headdresses shaped like the great horses of the Kumus Plains. That's how it's pronounced, by the way. Um, (laughs) Priests. How how is that? Just for Kumus. 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 Not Kumus. Not Kumus. It's Kumus. Goes great on Pita. Goes great on Pita. Kumus. Okay. Not noted. That's why you say computer. Exactly. Obviously. Yeah. <clears throat> There's priests with censers of incense, of incense swinging torches, uh, and then folks who are just drunk out of their minds dancing in the streets behind them. There's music everywhere. It's a party. Uh, and second, you are at the table of the legendary sorcerer and family patriarch Tiberius Wanderstave. Wanderstave? Wanderstave? 
Wanda Stave. Wander Stave. Mm -hmm. Yes. In a dozen kingdoms, they sing the praises of Wander Stave, whose magic and wits have vanquished powerful foes and saved countless lives. Countless, too, are the lovers he's taken in his journey and the children he's left in his wake, whether he knows them or not. Wow. Now, as Tiberius enters the twilight of his life, his mind is not what it once was. An old family friend, Arwia, the princess of Ramius, the god of death, is attending this feast, both to celebrate his life and prepare him for his final journey into the kingdom of death. That is where we begin our scene. Everybody's sitting around this table just eating fantastic food, the fruits of a long life. For his service to the city, he's been awarded a manor to stay in and a nice pension for saving the city some time ago. Uh, let's go around the table. We'll start on this side right now. Mika, what would your character be doing at a feast like this? Uh, I think I would be keeping to myself. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of sitting uh, with a moderate amount of food. For a very small mm -hmm. elf, uh, with Brindar, my retainer, kind mm -hmm. of standing behind me in a shield, making sure that no one gets too close to me. All and right. mostly, I'm talking to my little, my little familiar, my little raven, uh, as she sits on the table, and I feed her little pieces of bread. And can you give us a brief description of what your character would look like? Yes, she is a an elf about my height, about five foot two, very young for an elf. Uh, around 20, what did I say, 23, 20, 20? 20, 20, I thought 20, it was just, about, about even 20. 20. Yeah, yeah, even 20. Um, since she's an Eladrin elf, her features do change with the seasons, but she stays as wintry as she can. So she has a silver gradient hair with like bright blue eyes, uh, brown skin, um, and she's always wearing, you know those Durandal dresses in like, that you see at uh, like Oktoberfest? They're kind of like the beer maiden dresses. She has like a blue one of those with an apron on. And she has uh, quills and books hanging off of her apron. And, uh, yeah. All right. And I should say, as we go into that, for a winter Eladrin, the temperature here, the weather in general is rather hot. Yes. We're talking mm -hmm. sort of a Mesopotamia, Cum Mongolia, rolling steppes and plains, very fertile and green because of all the countless rivers breaking up the terrain, but the sun is very bright. This is a sort of palm fronds to shield yourself from the sun awnings sort of place. Sideshow, what would your character be doing at a feast like this, and what does your character sort of look like? Uh, M Marcus is just trying to keep himself out of trouble, and keep his granddad out of trouble as well. And Lord knows he's got a difficult task of it. Nah. Uh, so... I, I'd just be sat at the corner, you know, on my own. I'm I'm quite a shy kind of guy. I'm not really mm. interested in uh, talking to too many people, especially the high high types like these. These are these are the kind of people that me messing with them. That's what got my granddad in trouble. That's these are not the kind of people you want to be friends with, in my opinion. But I'm here just to you know keep an eye on him. His brain's gone in these mm. trying times, and I'm eating a couple of grapes and steak just with my bare hands and stuff. Yeah, mm. just ripping it to pieces. I'm a I'm a. Uh, Six foot four behemoth of a human, mm -hmm. like two hundred and fifty pounds, absolutely built, enormous. I'm playing a character very similar to myself. Trying <laughs> 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 so inspiration for real life. You're supposed to at least yeah. try to role play. This is a fantasy. You can be anything you want. I know. I'm sorry. I just have very little imagination, you know. So I just basically mirror my character exactly with myself. Uh, boost up a little bit. Your uh, chat saying you're a little quiet. Oh, okay. I uh, will. Just Hi. speak in the microphone. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Um, anything else about you or where you'd be at um, the moment? No, I would just be sat at the, w within, within leaping distance of my granddad so mm -hmm. that I could actually come to his aid if he makes a fool of himself. Because I understand, you know, the importance of an occasion like this, but I'm mm -hmm. not involved in it myself. I'm just there for his sake. Yep. Mm. Speaking of the granddad, yeah. the guest of honor. I, uh, I would have a plate full of doves in front of me. It's a, it's a speciality. How many I, I doves do, do you need? I, a lot. Please let them so I, I, I'm a big fan of roasted doves mm, no, all right, um, as a speciality. And when I'd see passers-by, I'd, I'd call out to them, Stephen, I haven't seen you in a, in a time. And That's I a would, good Imancor name, Stephen. I would try and it is. Yes, yeah, good, honest folk. Pronounce <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> he may not remember where he is. But uh, I would be trying to chase after people I recognized and start a conversation about the old days. 
a mug of ale in one hand with mm -hmm. another one in the other just trying to offer it to passers by just trying to uh, again capture the attention of some people that i may or may not knew or know from my mm -hmm. uh, from my stay here from where i've retired uh and uh uh, I might be getting lost every now and then. I might be trying to wander away from the table from time to time. I'm making sure that I follow him around the room. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And yeah. again, you're on a, a balcony that branches off of a very fine house overlooking the canals, bridges, and streets of this city, which is just full of, of noise and bright sunlight and delicious smells. Yeah, but I'd, I'd definitely be chewing down on some spice pigeons. And doves. doves. <laughs> or did you mistake the doves for spice pigeons? <laughs> Grab some pigeons that were having to yeah. wander yeah. too closely. <laughs> and, my, uh, uh, my sight isn't what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Marcus. I know I'm a, a, a bother sometimes. Don't don't worry, don't worry. But those are pigeons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You, did you want the dove? I wanted the dove. I'll get you. The, I'll get you some dove. You stay there. Thank you. <laughs> so you go over. You grab just a pi another yeah, picture. <laughs> <laughs> The dubs aren't very good for him these days. I'll stick. He'll stick to pigeon. Thank All you. right. Very good. Very good. Um, so uh, Faden would be. Uh, she's a little more outgoing. So mm -hmm. uh, if it's a party and there's alcohol there, both she's are probably true. having a pretty good time. Mm -hmm. um, she's recently traveled up river. Uh, so you know, being a sailor and being from the sea, she's enjoy like telling stories of the <gasps> sea. Uh, also because she's Triton. And a little less familiar with the ways of the people on land, but she definitely thinks she knows. Uh, she might be correcting people, uh, you know, as politely as she can as she meets them outgoing, like, oh, no, that's not how you hold a fork. You're, you're, you're using it wrong. I heard you're supposed to use it like this. <laughs> <laughs> we have thingamabobs where I come that. from. Yeah. Let yeah. me show you how this works. Um, so, uh, you know, she's going around trying to make, trying to make friends. All right. And generally drinking, and uh, oh, 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 so I finally met me dad. Did you know that's me dad? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I just met him, but he's lovely. What was your name again? It's Fre Fre Faden, dad. Freya. Faden. <laughs> Faden. No, she's Freya. Freya. Freya's the other one over there, dad. Uh, granddad. No, but would you like a drink though? <laughs> oh, I, I, heard, I heard dad can put him away. Someone get me dad a drink. Uh, as he's sitting there with both hands, <laughs> yes. with tankers of ale in both hands. She's getting you another one. Oh, all right. I hear this, and I will plunk a tanker down on the table in front of uh, the aging wizard himself and say, right here, and let me just say, it is an honor to get to follow you around and just document your, your exploits. I've heard so much about you, and I know I've been in the bard college for about 20 years which oh. i know is a little bit longer than yes. most bards end up spending there but i i don't know if i've told you this but i'm actually part of the royal family only halfway wow. i'm half elf but yeah royal but i am and you know it's a big deal just to have sitting royalty over, in just sitting just around sitting there, the like, corner with the they, crown just you, know, you, know, you know i've heard that royalty's uh -huh. actually supposed to wear their doublets differently than you're wearing them well the thing is, is don't worry, we bards like to go our own way and and uh my music is uh pretty pretty well known oh, around the college play a tune for the old man eh? right now yeah i always keep not? my instrument with me it's a celebration one second oh is. is there dancing one oh. moment what <clears throat> is that <laughs> Is it? Oh. I will <laughs> have you know, sir. Is that broken? No, my music has been called things like too much to handle, and I can't take one more minute of this, <laughs> which is clearly I, people just saying that it's uh, overwhelmingly good. And, you know, they finally said, Bendis, <laughs> it's time to go and write your first epic. And I agreed. I said, "What? then why did you keep me here for 20 years? And they said something like a... Fa no, it wasn't failing. It wasn't failing, but they said that uh, they were just ailing for a better tune to have me write. Mm. And so they sent me to meet you. Yes. Which, again, well, is an honor, sir. Good luck with that, Bendis. No, I'm going to be around. Oh. I'm documenting everything. Did they really and I just sit say down, you were good? I sit down over and I just take a drink. Marcus, and watch. Do you know, do you know I that, have, man? Uh, I, I have a small notebook and a pen. I don't know him, Dad. And I keep an eye on you throughout <clears throat> the entire meal. I am meal. slightly worried if he brings that great stick of thunder with him. 
Do you think it could be one of the assassins that was sent earlier? I d don't worry about them, Dad. I killed them all. It's okay. fine. It's fine. All right. He did. He's, I wrote that down. That is actually, gone. that's oh. going to be a verse. It's like, it's not a very long verse because it's not, you know, it's you, not him, but. Sure. Absolutely. You know how it is yes. with the epics. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry, Granddad. I've, I've got you. Okay. All right. So as the group mingles here for various reasons that they've come, um, and Freya, how much have you spoken with the rest of the party about why you're here at all? Because you have a place at this table. I wouldn't say very much. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the only communication I would have had is that every time Bendis brags about his exploits and the fact that he is mm -hmm. this destined bard under my breath, to anyone that will hear me, I'll be like, that's not true. <laughs> that's not what they called him. That's not what they said. Because I, I've heard your reputation from the Bard College from... Oh, no. It's great. <clears throat> hey, come on. We go way back. We grew up together. We did. I mean, I'm a little bit older than you, I know. But, like, I saw you grow up, <sighs> and you got to see my music blossom into the great... Do you remember my shows well, at the Bard College, Oh, I, I remember them. Yeah, People just couldn't there. take uh -huh. it. There were tears every single time. Oh, I, I believe sure that. Cry. I actually <laughs> believe that. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. For context, his tenure at the college trying to pass is equivalent to your lifespan. Yeah. So Oof. there's that. <laughs> so how about that for a That's answer? great. Hmm. Like I said, royal family, they wanted to keep me enrolled. It's a big deal to have a royal in the college. Oh. I understand that. But it was time for me to move on. You know, I enjoyed the royal life. I enjoyed the parties. I enjoyed the comfort. Yeah. It's time to compose an epic. And, and Se seems like we're both looking after someone here. We are. And why, why again, did they send you here where I am? Uh, obviously, because the same reason you were sent here. You were sent to learn from this magnificent sorcerer and i was sent to document it i mean think about all the things you've done he saved our kingdom you remember that Ooh, right i don't drink. i wasn't alive i mean you remember learning about another it another right? drink do you need a drink my love I i'll take drink. a drink <laughs> oh we'll get some more drinks get, I'm, I'm going I'll get, I'll get around i'll get around you great I you can play it. your music here i well it's gonna take a while to I do that but i'll get a start right. on it uh so as you are speaking amongst each other and several of you have been around for a while some of you may have been here for i mean your entire adult life, you were raised in this city, others have recently arrived, you've had time to introduce yourselves to each other, you all found a place at this table, and Arya, uh, the priestess of Ramius, who is older than you are, like, growing up, she's been a part of your life the entire time, you know, helped you when you were in diapers, essentially, uh, and has moved, risen to a decent post in the temple, one of the more influential temples. Uh, she will rise to her feet, She's wearing a sheer white veil, which is customary for the priestesses of the god of death. Her hair is braided, and each of her tattoos, each of her fingers is tattooed. One tattoo for each of the rivers of the underworld. Uh, and she's matching you drink for drink as you go at it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, she'll go ahead and raise a glass. Now, since she's the one who got the whole feast together, and she'll ask, once you come back with the drink, she'll raise a toast to Diberius Wanderstave, True son of Masru. I'll, I'll take that one for what? you. It's all right. I brought that for him. Hey, let him drink it. Ah, here, here. Woo! That's the stuff. May Ramius be between you and harm in all the empty places where you must walk. Death. Mm, cheers. To death. Cheers now, to as this celebration unfolds, she'll sort of <laughs> direct... You're so uh, related. Wow. <laughs> you think uh, two you'd things. be more acquainted one, with liquids where you're from. Are you all right? <coughs> <laughs> and two, please roll a constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> my goodness. I don't think... Oh, my con's okay. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. So, given the whole amphibious thing does cause problems and the oxygen content of alcohol isn't that great... Uh, you do end up coughing a little bit in the middle of the toast, but not to the point where you make an embarrassment of yourself. Well done. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Just like real life. Yeah, I'm good for it. Strange contraptions. <laughs> 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 oh, I was that metal bird. <laughs> what is that? Don't eat it. I didn't bring my dragon oh, minis. We can't. Mm. No, it was an airplane. Oh, yes. Helicopter. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. in the Just here in the real away. world. <laughs> Just roll, roll with the bit. I uh -huh. totally. It's the neighbors uh, throwing <laughs> things at us already. So, Marcus um, and. Tiberius, of course, you know, it's the city owes you a great debt and it's tried, we've tried to reward you in accordance with 
the, the doom you saved us from and all the sacrifices you made along the way. And now, as your journey in this world draws to a close, I wanted to ask you what your plans are for the last years of your life. The plans of my last years? Yes. Mm, well, it's a lot to take care of. I yes. made a list somewhere. Do you know where it is, Marcus? Yeah, I, I found the list. It was uh, ambitious, I want to say. It was a little ambitious. Yeah, well, not, so, nothing that the mighty Tiberius could handle. Absolutely true. The mighty Tiberius absolutely could have handled it. You're uh, a, a little <sighs> past your prime, I'd say, Grandad. What are you trying to imply? Nothing too much. I'll, I'll still be hanging around with you. Oh, I'm sure he can handle it. No problem. Yeah, what was on I the mean, list? This, this guy's a legend. He you is. Know? He's a legend. He's me die. You're Back talking about. Up, Freya. This guy he, can uh, take on anything. He, I mean, maybe like 20 years ago. He, Which, uh, I mean, look, I'm me strong as an ox. looking pretty good. He, he keeps forgetting where he Hell. puts his glasses and keeps drinking new things. Is, are, is nice everybody hat, else though. seeing this? Yes. Geniuses often mistake and for crazy. They're very close. You s this is not Yeah, I have had uncommon. experience with that, actually. I yes. would believe that every moment. Yeah. <laughs> this is not uncommon. As you prepare for your journey into the Kingdom of Shadows, it is the fourth river of the underworld that wipes away the memories of life and prepares us to serve in the armies of Ramias to protect the souls of the dead from the hungry infernals. And some of us, as we go to the end of our life, take a dip in that particular river a little bit earlier than others. Mm. And in what? Yes. Hello? And she turns sort of, still kind of looking at you, but more addressing you at this point. And when such a time comes, the most graceful thing to do to prepare for this solemn duty is to enter the Temple of Ramius Ooh. and say farewell to the attachments of your life so that the crossing of those five rivers into the underworld is a peaceful and dignified process. What do you, uh, what do you mean by say goodbye to the attachments? You want me to... I think she wants you to kill him. No, him no, 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 no. What? No, I think she wants you to kill him. You can bloody try, Marcus. Why have I gone Scottish? <laughs> <laughs> that, he gets Scottish when he's angry. That does, that does sometimes happen when he's angry. You'd spend yes. a lot of time also with us down in Titan. at this age. Is that out of character? I Must be the drink. <laughs> oh, you're remembering the time you spent in, with the Tritons? Oh, the, ti the t Tritons? Tritons, yeah. Mm. yeah that's Fine what I am, people. Dad. Fish people, Dad. Fish is. Yes, yes. I knew a girl once who was half fish. I, I don't doubt it. Yes. Really? Many, actually. Tell me about this. Well, oh, wait, is it me, Ma? It's a long time ago now, but... Arya's just like... How long? Don't took a trip down <laughs> to the deep, and I'm slipping into Scottish again because of you. <laughs> granddad, granddad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 nice lady. the nice priestess wants to know what your plans are. My, my, <clears throat> so, what, so what I suggest, all your plans and ambitions, these are things of the mortal kingdom. And these are things you are preparing to move past. You don't need those anymore. You've made your mark on life. I encourage you to come in within the temple, say farewell to your family, and spend the remainder of your time in peaceful contemplation to prepare yourself for death. Mm. A dignified, respectful death, worthy of the life that you live. Don't yeah, do she it. Wants that is a him. boring end to your epic. I'm just telling you. Oh, I've lived a long life. From a, from a bard's perspective, you want to get that last adventure in there. Listen, so, Bendy boy, I've lived a long life. Many years. How did you know? Many kingdoms My saved. nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Bendy boy. Uh, sorry. It's, uh, <laughs> you oh, are wise. No. Mm. boy. Kyber boy. Kyber boy. Kyber boy. <laughs> I've lived a long life. I've had many adventures. Maybe... Maybe the priestess is right. Maybe it's time to settle down and settle away. And I mean, I'd, I'd love that. It'd give me some <laughs> peace and quiet. But you did have a big long list full of stuff you wanted to do before you pop your clogs. So you, oh, that's you don't what you want to do, Marcus. I'm sorry, let's Wait. pop your exactly. clogs. What are we talking him. about? Listen are you actually telling me at the end of your epic, you want it to go like this? And Chat. he went in the building and died. <laughs> It, would you like that? Do you really want it to end like that? Could you not do you that? You might be onto something there, Bendy boy. I thought so. Mm. So, as you're discussing this, a delegation from another temple goes by. And you see a halfling wearing gold-embellished plate mail. Tromping by with a bit of a strut and some other finely armed soldiers with him. And on his chest plate is emblazoned the symbol of the sun. 
And do any of you have a religion proficiency? I believe I do, but mm. I'm not very smart. Yes, I am proficient, but that just makes up for my minus one intelligence. That's fine. You recognize this. This is the symbol of Zalar, the sun god, uh, which is sort of a, a militaristic, very uh, zealous religion from the solar empire of Brontha to the south. They're, they have a temple here as well, but they're sort of trying to convert folk. And they, they're very very confident and very bold with uh, with their approach to life. Okay. And this this is a local who you would also know. He, he's a member of the guard as well. His name is Lanre. L-A-N-R-E. And he gets a word. Did I steal that from something? I name probably stole that from something. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that checks uh. out. I want to say I stole that from a name list. So I probably was robbing the same source. <laughs> <laughs> but any day you're robbing Rothfuss is a good day. So... Huh. Uh, and he's he's listening to this conversation. You're saying, "Oh, that'd be great. You should go out and just." And he leans over with an incredulous look and says, "Really, really? Is that what you're encouraging? This is man is a hero. You know how much good he's done in this world. Lots. Hey, I'll drink to that. Cheers. Yeah, He'll me too. One back. If you're going to go out, why not go out in a blaze of glory? Death is not the end. Death is not something to look forward to. It's simply one step on the way back to life. I like what this man says. Yeah, me too. Is he just saying, go and get killed? Is that what you're saying? Gloriously. No. Yes. In the service of others. Making in a way to be remembered for a story. Yeah, it also puts me in a shit ton of danger trying to defend it. Think I of like how many people you could it. help, though, and save. But if the points for him to die, do you have to right defend now. him? You're just saying, go out and get killed. Oh, there's I mean, always someone who needs saving, isn't there? It's a dangerous world. There's suffering out there somewhere. Ah, too yeah. right. All right, you make a stellar case. Yeah, that's You're what I thought. You're convinced by one, one me message from Lundre. Yeah. Well, he's a religious man. I'd trust him. Listen, I, I mean, I saw Always him. trust the religious. They the never do anything. <laughs> he's into me again. Grandad, I'm going to do what you tell me to do, but I don't advise this path. Well, you're a good lad, Marcus, but you don't need to come with me. I do need to come with you, because mm. otherwise you will end unceremoniously probably falling out of the steps of this bloody house. I can handle myself. All right, roll a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? Oh, oh boy. Seven. Okay. Oh. Uh. With that word, as he rises from his chair to take the steps of the house, he falls prone. Oh. Ah. Grandad, for God's sake. I drag him back <laughs> up to his feet. I, I furiously write. Don't, don't put that in there. Don't put that in there. No, no, it's the part where you lift him up again. Oh, I suppose that was kind no, of spectacular. Kind of spectacular. All right. Yeah, we can keep that in. So, yeah. with these two religious folks sort of debating and everybody chipping in in their own way, the actual proper ceremony is about to begin. So it's time for everyone to... Go wherever you'd like to be. This is a very big social to-do. Members of the city want to be seen, see and be seen. Members of the common folk are down there rabble-rousing. You think you see underneath one of the bridges a couple of the guards throwing some coins down? Probably on the next horse race. Mm. There's a variety nice. of places that you could go. Wait, I see that? Yeah. I'm there. All right. <laughs> You're going to head under the bridge to where the guards are. They, they look at you. you. Not a lot of tritons around these parts, but if you have gold, they're willing to listen. Well, uh, I see you maybe uh, throwing a few bones over there. You, uh, you fancy a, a, fin a friendly wager? No, we're going in for the horse races. What have you got in mind? Oh, I, I'm, 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 I'm fine with the horse races. Are well, you from around here? No, but I saw you were bitten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk. So you're going to head down there, and they're going to start talking about the fantastic horses. We have the best horses. Iman Karak is known for its horses. And they start really up-talking a couple of them. What are the rest of you going to do? Where are you going to be for this? It's a very big ceremonial to-do. Where would... Uh, I think... Freya be for it. I would be kind of wandering around, like, no, mm -hmm. remembering the meeting and greeting from the palace mm. gatherings of my of my yeah. childhood and kind of mingling with the nobles okay um but also <laughs> getting easily bored i think i would kind of wander off and find some nice flower arrangements and just start poking them and draining the life from the flowers just for funsies oh. okay so <laughs> the city of masaru is known for its hanging gardens with a variety of exotic beautiful plants from all over the world which yeah. you are now just <laughs> <laughs> just, just a few here and there, not anything yeah. noticeable. Just the pride to, of the city. Just to and see. You're sucking just, the life out of it. Well, yep. Just a few here and there, just making them black and white. And what sort of knowledge skills would you have? Arcana, nature, history? Uh, I have 
huge arcana proficiency. Okay. Um, and also history. Great. So you know exactly the significance of everyone yep. that you just snuff out. Yep. It's not, it's, like, it's not enough to make a scene. But well, yeah, you're just, not killing the plants. No, you're just... Just adding a little le- lack ooh, of color to it. This them. one grew in the Feywild. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Hmm. Where would you, well, actually, probably, if I'm going to ask where Marcus would be, I need to ask for Tiberius. <laughs> I, I would be trying to find the, the best view of the festivities to get a All right. Nice... Well, honestly, the balcony's in a pretty nice spot. You yeah. have a good view of it. I'd uh, be staying here with a, with a drink in my right. hand. Yeah, there's food here. A pigeon in the other. <laughs> and I'd be staring down at the, uh, the ceremonies, just kind mm-hmm. of taking it all in. Brilliant. I'm going to go and get a bunch of non-alcoholic drinks. Mm-hmm. And every time that someone tries to pass Tiberius a drink... I'm going to swap it out swap with the out. non-alcoholic drink and start giving him just Red Bulls. He's just going to get cracked <laughs> out. <laughs> <Red Bulls. laughs> um, whilst also glancing over and just smiling at uh, the Triton who's gone off to bet. All right. I, I know that they're just going to take all of her money. Oh, yeah. You, there's, there's a couple of your buddies down there from the guards because yeah. you, you know the stables around here, right? Haven't you yes, do some yeah, time yeah, working yeah. there? I've worked in the stables. Yeah. work as a guard for the horse racing as well. Yeah, so this this ocean person is here betting on these land mammals and yeah. Amonkrok really is known for its horses. So you can almost see just by the way they're talking and how much gold they're... You're like, oh, that one's on Old Red. Yeah. And yeah, that one's on the one who looks really good, but who threw a horseshoe the last race and hasn't been running the same since, so they're going to farm that one. Mm. Yeah, you can see. And they, they kind of, they see you up there and they kind of like, hey, come on down. I, I just wave him away mm-hmm. and just raise my mug to them and carry on watching after Tiberius, making sure that he's, right. uh, he's safe. They give you a wink and they go back to pudding. Now, how much are you willing to wager? I have a gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we talking here? Well, she doesn't have that much, mm-hmm. but she'd probably lose everything. <laughs> well, you'd probably, <laughs> maybe maybe great, you'll luck out. Very pessimistic attitude. Maybe you'll luck out. Uh, How much are you putting on the line? In the well, first 30 minutes. Well, she probably wouldn't bet every bit of gold she has initially, mm-hmm. so uh, let me look at how much I actually have again. I think you said 15. Yeah, so... <clears throat> uh, and also, she would... um. Be fairly unwilling to like she was like no I didn't know you were betting on the horses but like she'd pretend she knew something about horses. Mm-hmm. Roll a deception check. Oh she d- I don't expect they'll believe her. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't even know how to read oh. you as well because you have scales. Fair. A lot Fair of standard enough. tells are not. Uh, Ooh. seventeen. All right, they look a little nervous. <laughs> they look a little uncertain mm. of themselves. Mm. That's remarkable because I, I'd probably be like, oh, you know, you can tell the best ones by their noses. It's their noses that tell you when they'll be fast. Do they have horses underwater? <laughs> <laughs> Those horses have noses? I thought they had just horns and fins. Seahorses. How does she know that we don't? Uh, oh, maybe she's talking about seahorses. <laughs> Do the same rules carry over from seahorses to normal horses? Oh. I like the look of that one, though. Just roll d20, no modifier. Okay. <laughs> and our survey says... Ooh. Two. Two? Oh. two. All right, now they're really confused. <laughs> <laughs> you just pointed at the knobliest old bear <laughs> out there. <laughs> I got the worst horses. It wasn't even the worst one. They have no idea what to do at this point. <laughs> Bendis, where would you be enjoying the, the, the great gonna be ceremony? I keeping an eye on the wizard in question. All right. right. So, mm-hmm. I'm so you're going to stay where the party yeah. is? And this yeah, nice yeah. Well, sort of well, first of all, I'm definitely going to stay where the party is. Oh, yeah. There's free yeah. food. You're, you just I'm got out of college. We all know how that goes. Yeah. That, that, you know, I've been sent to craft this epic, right, man? So mm-hmm. I'm going to be watching you because I know something epic is going to go down. I'm just waiting for it. You're not wrong. I got my drink. And I got, you know, my know. brain to record some of these things. You're a little wrong. There you go. All right, then. The ceremony begins. Party. When the sun reaches its zenith, you see Lan Rey and all of his cohorts do a quick ceremony of their own religion uh, off to the side. And a lot of the folk in the crowd are part of that faith. There's, there's like a hundred different temples in this city. And every single god has their own faction. They're all sort of vying for influence and followers. There's a lot going on. Um, in the actual ceremony, you see the new high priestess who's being selected. She emerges from a temple after four days of fasting. Uh, they've done ceremonial makeup, so the fact that her eyes are gone, her flesh is sunken into her into her face, 
it's harder to tell from this ceremonial fasting. She is arrayed in blue silk, heavily painted, a shaved head, and a great ceremonial headdress. And on the ground before her, they're laying palm fronds so that her bare feet don't touch the earth. And before her, there are acolytes with censers of incense preparing the way with a ceremonial chant. Pull a perception check, please. With disadvantage, because you're busy talking about horse noses. <laughs> <laughs> well, first one was a nat 20. Oh, too bad about right. the disadvantage Sorry for part. the disadvantage. Oh! Oh! No! no. What? Uh, Is that a one or a two? It was a two. Uh, so it's an eight. Wow. All right. God, that's unlucky. That was that's so, so unlucky. Awful. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably just normal splashing in the canal. It gets like that. Don't oh, worry about no. it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> splashing in the canal. First nut 20. Yeah, and it didn't count. No. It had We're disadvantage. To a fantastic that's start. Unlucky. Sad air horns in chat. Yep. What are sad air horns? <laughs> 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 that's great. Uh, we're going to need a command that does that. Sad yeah. air horns. <laughs> All right. They're chanting, it's a song, anyone who would speak the language, it's a song um, interceding with the gods on, from, from the perspective as if the city itself was singing uh, and its founders and all who have dwelled within it, charging the new high priest, it is their job to protect the city and to be their voice to the gods and to see all possible outcomes and predict disaster and keep them in good faith with the gods. And behind the new high priestess are acolytes of Ramius carrying palm fronds as his procession goes on. You are wandering around the area. Roll a perception check. Okay. Ooh. Uh, 21. 21. Ooh. Dirty 21. Mm. All right. From the lower galleries of the hanging gardens where great vines with massive violet and red flowers emerge out from those galleries a few more folk come to join the procession um, they're dressed exactly like the the acolytes in the train and they're not really with them they sort of emerge from the gallery with their hoods up praying and start shifting through the crowd do i find this suspicious well either they're there's seven of them and either they're late or it, it, they seem a little out of place. Okay. Um, I want to kind of elbow Brindar mm -hmm. um, and just kind of gently point them out. Sorry, who is Brenda? Br oh, Brindar <laughs> is, uh, no, he's my son of retainer. Brenda, obviously. Oh. Uh, so he's oh. kind of this big, hulking, right, like, right. Bodyguard. He's yeah, he's Bob. Exactly. <laughs> he's, 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 your ass. he's, he's the Bob to my ass. Brenda, uh, do something. Do something. <laughs> so, <laughs> is he an Eladrin or a High Elf? Or he's a High Elf. Okay. He's uh, like a very bulky. He kind of has a Chris Evans Dorito bod. Mm -hmm. He's just a, okay. yeah. He's oh, just wow. a, a bulky, silent uh, elf, and he only speaks Elvish. He doesn't speak Common at all. Okay. All um, right. And he barely speaks to anyone other than me. Okay. And he's just kind of there to make sure that I don't blow all my money don't die, and don't embarrass my family name. Okay. Brindar looks at them suspiciously, which doesn't help because he always looks at people suspiciously. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Valid. Uh, I guess I just, noticing that something feels weird because mm -hmm. they are late, um, I just kind of want to leave the focus from the flowers I'm necromancing mm -hmm. and focus on if any of them make a sudden movement. Okay. They're moving quickly and with purpose, but mm. I wouldn't say suddenly. They're not drawing any weapons. They're sort of shimmering into the crowd, weaving their way through with purpose. And there's a lot of drunk people just staggering around, but these people, they're just... Then I'm, I'm watching them as they go. Okay. Uh, you watch them, and they are... Give me an, another perception check, please. Ooh, nat one. All right. Oh, First nat one boy. of the campaign. Ah. All right, you Yay. lose track of two of them. <laughs> Okay. As the rest of them blend into the crowd. Anything Shit. else? Uh, Moonin's already summoned, so my familiar's already summoned. Mm -hmm. and, mm, actually, uh, I do want to do something. All right. Um, I would like to, as a ritual, cast Unseen Servant. So ritual casting takes ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay, then I want yes. to start doing it. Okay. I want to start. I want to start preparing Unseen Servant, kind of in the corner. All right. What does the ritual look like? Uh, 
I'm, I'm taking flowers from this hastily, okay. and um, I'm crushing them in a little bowl that I keep off my belt, mm-hmm. and I'm going to start chanting and burning the flowers as I start casting Unseen Servant. Awesome. Yeah. I like it. All right. The priestess climbs a sacred staircase where the queen of the city waits. She's wearing a ceremonial gown of living greenery woven of flower petals and vines together. Uh, and she has a crown of animated gold leaves and sapphire flowers. The high priestess approaches, approaches her and they begin to recount an oath of service to the city. Um, and you three are all on the balcony and you're doing a ritual and you're gambling and you didn't notice anything. <laughs> <laughs> I will take a perception check with disadvantage from the three of you on the balcony. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, I wasted a, oh I'm a chocolate but another natural 20 <laughs> wasted a disadvantage. Just one more to the wind. All right. Well, that'll uh, be a three. Let me see. What, All right. Um, I rolled a nine. nine for me. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Is that plus your modifier or is that just... No, the modifier's on it. Yeah. Mine, is, mine right. is including my modifier as well. All right. Yeah. Then uh, don't worry about it. Nothing's going <laughs> on. All right. Everything's yeah. great. Don't Very worry about it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So then the new high priestess walks beneath a fountain of water, a, a shimmering waterfall, and stands beneath it as it just roars down in one last ritual of purification. And at that moment... Oh, no. Everything's fine. How many minutes has it been? Don't worry about it. Uh... Shit! Where did I put my thing? Oh, here they are. Brilliant. Yeah, I, sh- I probably should have had these out earlier, but you know, this is how it goes. Uh, if I can have everyone in the party, please roll for initiative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo. And does everybody have miniatures? I forgot to suss this out. I do I have mine. I don't. All right. Mine. Well, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick some out. Yay! Oh, my initiative modifier is negative, too. Yo, you have no. negative two I, initiative. I end up with a I negative ne- two. I have negative initiative. Oh I have negative oh, no. two. Oh, negative initiative. How, what Because what, what, I what even didn't does that? lie when I rolled dice. It's my dex. Oh, you know it's based on your dex. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I respect that. I respect that, and you're both going to die. <laughs> I respect that, and nice. you're both going to die. Because That's I was usually honest what when I rolled uh, my stats. It's your proficiency plus your modifier, right? Uh, no. Dex modifier? No, it's your dex no. modifier, do you, generally. Do you have, you're a bard, so you actually get half of your proficiency modifier on this oh, because that's, of that that's class why, feature. Right. That's so why nobody I get plus else four instead of plus three. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah. All right. Right. The rest of us. Oh, rounds down, that's rough. Are these miniatures? Yeah. Wow. I have Oh my mine. gosh, all of them at once. your mini, go ahead and set it out. I'm going to pick a blue one. I'll just draw a couple of quick scenes. <laughs> pick the guy with tentacles. Uh, while we're doing oh. that. Yeah, I forgot to mention that my character, by the way, is about four foot eight. Sweet. Oh, you've got a tiny little character. Yeah, Tritons don't get there that tall. Mini there. This shall be Tiberius. Looking good for piece. a human. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> I think mine might be a cat girl. Well, this is me except female, so I'm going to choose this as me. Close mm. it up. There you go. So we'll do the balcony here. And then we'll have the table like so. Uh, yes, my dex is a seven the for the chat who is asking. That that's how bad it is. I have a seven dex. That's wow. That's incredible. Down below. Also, my intelligence is eight. This is a drop of <laughs> wow. You, nice. Did you just roll terribly with your dice? Well, no. Then I had uh, like a sixteen, a thirteen, and a. Okay. Two 13s and a 14 or something. Right. I just had, right. so I had like four good dice like, and two really bad <laughs> right. dice. Also, I closed the door because everyone heard Neptuno screaming. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's <laughs> good. Oh, Fair. Yeah. We'll do just the, another 3K. Then, you know what? Let's get the blue out. It's just party background noise. Yeah. You know? exactly. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Enjoying themselves it's at the party. Beyond. It's immersion. You know, somebody being stuck. Oh, we have to press the button yeah. that switches Kudos. the camera. You're right. Yes, you and. Somebody said that in chat. Thank you. I was so lost in the sauce. You know what else I'm going to need next time? I'm going to need a mute button so that I can be all up in this microphone's business and move it around. Without you can, uh, you can everybody. pick it up and put it out of the way while you right. while you do that. Good enough. Uh, and yeah. here, here's my mini. I don't know where she goes. And just, <coughs> we'll have a place for you just, generally, no just generally speaking, you want the mic like a little closer to you as well, I think, Joe. Just, I can do uh, that. Yeah. I'm, I'm normally 
my voice tends to carry. So That's I, true. I'm a little bit worried about blasting people. Oh, I think you'd be fine. Tell Neptuno Blast I miss him it. already. Bren streams into the same mic, and he's very loud as well. True. He's literally shouting into it, so should be fine. I feel like some of these dice should probably be moved. Well, I probably should have drawn this a little bit. But again, <laughs> we're here now. Uh, so we'll put here. I need them all, Bren, okay? I need the, all <laughs> of them. I'm mine! I'm mine! Uh-huh. And with the, the fifth edition oh, numbers, I you? believe that. That's me. That's sick. Thanks. I have to paint her. I'm going to take some uh, tips from old painting master Doe over yeah. there. Happy to help. Bendy I'm excited boy. to paint mine. Bendy boy. Bendy boy. Bendy boy is his right. own. And then we'll do the Solid Yu-Gi-Oh joke, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was... Love it. Here. Of I, course. That's, I have not done. Wait, is that the abridged yet? one? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. yes, it is. <laughs> Doa Chad thought cool. we blurred you out. I cried. They realized that it was <laughs> his know, back. They're still doing new episodes. <laughs> yeah, really? they're still doing new episodes uh, of Yu Gi Oh! Abridged. Like once every four months. But still. Yeah, and they're actually, I feel like they're, they're pretty good. They're really good. You guys are doing that in the I watched that when I was a child and like they're still coming out. My formative years. Is this is this water? What this is, is water? Yes, this is Spectre really Seven. I also know that Wilfred L is doing a painting show. I will watch that as well. It's a good show too. It I've is? watched a lot of that. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. It's fun, but he sells himself short. He's a much better point painter than he lets on. Really? Yeah. Oh, Danny Bear with the gifted subs. Thank oh, you. Oh wow, oh. coming in clutch, Danny Bear. Oh. Speaking of which, it is, this is going to be the scene where our. Uh... Oh, where I oh no oh, yeah. oh no yeah no oh. no yeah we have fifty one subs yo wonderful. I also didn't realize that you pronounced Friedel like Friedel until I heard him say Friedel. I always mm. thought it was Friedel. I feel like I heard that somewhere because I was a huge Boy Meets World fan when I was a kid. Mm. So. All right. So this is yeah. how we're going to do this. This is the platform where you're eating. This is the... Do you mind speaking this into the mic as well? Oh, no, that's a good idea. <laughs> we need a lapel mic for you. <laughs> it actually this might be better. a great yeah. deal of articulation. So this is the platform where the feast was occurring. Uh, this... Over here, that is a platform where the ritual is taking place. This will be the dark corner under the bridge where gambling is occurring. This will be the gallery with the garden where you are necromancing flowers. Okay. Oops. And I'll need just a moment to get a couple more. Can someone throw me under the bridge? <laughs> the troll under the bridge. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some other pieces out. Let's do, let's do this for Lawn Ray the Paladin. Let's do, 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 do. I actually have more pieces that I'll get at some point. We'll do the yeah, Arya, you get to be a dragonborn for now. The ceremony will take place up here. Oh no, this will be Lawn Ray. That's good. Ceremony, if you could go ahead and put that person right on the platform. And now I'm going to get a number of additional pieces. Oh boy. Someone said oh, yeah. little known fact, Bren isn't in costume, but this is his 1v1 outfit for next season. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we, need, uh, we need your music as another he's, button. He's that got we can the activate. widow leggings under the... Oh under no! Exactly. <laughs> Anything <laughs> but the widow uh, leggings! Somebody yeah. said that uh, I, this is essentially the sexy sleepwear in Fallout, <laughs> along with just the cowboy. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's all it yeah. is. All right, the first act of God, was your gets chopped up. Um, my ear, my ear fell off. Ooh, next next session that. we should use uh, the one of the soundboards. Yeah, and put put that over. One hundred percent. I forgot to do your makeup. I was At some point, give you old we'll get makeup, like background music yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. But it back. was a journey to get here. Oh so no, I feel true. you. Yes, yeah. one, one step at a time. What, what, this is the pilot. I should never say it's the first yeah. pilot. Yeah, true, and then right, right. Pilot of season two. Yeah, we just get better from here. That's how that works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work in production. Let's use you, and let's maybe use... We had a community-led pilot for season two of OWL. You're yeah. right. Did yeah. we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember it was the community showdown? Oh, uh, yeah. That was a pilot, wasn't it? It yeah. was something. Kind of. <laughs> Do you really have <laughs> a pilot for something pilot in the second the season, show. though? <laughs> That's generally like a first season thing. Pilot 2.0. It's a pilot of the Esports reboot the mold, of the though, show. You know? There it is. It's a pilot for the reboot. From sure. the roof. Uh-oh. Oh. Here we are. From atop the roof of the balcony where you were, unbeknownst to our heroes, in the middle of this ceremony, shadows were crawling along the edges from building to building and moving their way through the crowd. John Cena? And none of us yeah. noticed. And many opportunities were granted and none of them <laughs> came through. So, what do you again. want? Atop, uh. from above, a shadow with a wicked curved blade springs down. 
Hey, Bren, can I make a request? Is this you? Yes. Can you pick one that's blue, and then all the bad guys can be red, and we can all be blue? Wow. That's not an awful oh, that's idea. That's very so smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the only other blue one that I have. I mean, I'll trade mm -hmm. with you if you want my sword sure. thing there. Yeah. All right, good enough. Nicely done. I think that's actually how this set was supposed to work. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, we take those. All right, so you're here. The, the masked man with the curved blade appears here, wading through the crowd is a man with an iron cudgel down below, and a number whoa, below you of rogue, they look like acolytes, they emerge from the crowd with weapons drawn. And what are these ones? Oh, right, yeah. Well, I guess we're not all blue. Mm. And you're just shiny because you're a princess. But this is this will make it a lot easier to tell who's who. Is this who. a bad guy? Yes. <clears throat> Can we make him red? Is that possible? Yes. Yeah. We'll, we we'll have just make the him technology. another one of these. Sweet. We'll just make him another one we of these. We have the I will technology. Keep the, uh, the cudgel knowledge. I'll yeah. keep them separate. All right. And these are all bad guys. Correct. Okay. Those are the ones who slipped through the crowd. And how many minutes has it been? Five. Still five. Yes. Cool. Yes. Cool. Things are about to get complicated. So, could I please go ahead and get? Did everyone already roll for initiative? Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes. Let's see here. Then, can I get your results, please? From the, did anyone get a twenty or higher? No. Did anyone get a fifteen or higher? Yeah, yes. I did. All right. What'd you get? Sixteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Fourteen. Okay. So it was fifteen minus one modifier. So wow. 15 or Quick higher. Maps. I rolled a 15, but I got minus one of my initiative. You so technically, so yeah. you didn't. So technically 14. So, so no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to forget Quick everything maps. you just said. Yeah. Um, who got a 10 or higher? I did. Me. 11. 14. All right. <laughs> See, I forgot everything you just said. Uh -huh. That's always good. He's forgetting it as he goes along too, so that's, that's fine. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. Um, so somebody said that your back was blocking the camera when you showed what is what, so I'm going to help and Thank point you. to things. Thank you. Yep. This is Ash. Yeah. This is a dude with a mace. Yes. This is a dude with a terrifying curved sword. Correct. Uh, this is... Me. Bren. Bren. That is... Me. Marcus. That is... Priestess? The priestess. Yes. priestess. Lady. Undergoing the ritual. Silver one is Doa. Who is that? This is Lanre, the okay. halfling paladin, and Arya, the, prin the priestess the pr of death. And then that is me over there. Correct. Ritual in it. Yep. Ritual in it in a corner. Ritual in it all over the place. All right. I like to pretend everything that Bren says OOC is actually just Tiberius rambling. Just him. <laughs> him in the corner going ritual in, this in it. Ritual in it. Doing the ritual. ritual oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. And then our... It's so chunky. I know. It is big old the big chungus. chungus. <laughs> big old chungus. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> oh, thanks to the mods who were like creating commands and stuff. Oh, very cool. Yeah, we, got, we got to see oh, all the cool stuff you. that's been uh... nice. All right. Well, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that most <laughs> of you have dusted them in the initiative count. The bad news is that yeah. most of you didn't actually see them coming. Yeah. Oh, that's so. A oh, you never got my initiative. You didn't ask who rolled below ten. Oh. <laughs> and our survey says eight. All right. It's not that, no, you not beat, that far below you beat ten. You beat one person. <laughs> yes, I am not last. I'm gonna have to really. There we go. All right. Josh. Hello. A man drops from the ceiling and screams. Khotan lives! He has a wicked curved sword and he wants to kill your grandfather. Okay. You are surprised. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust back to here. You are surprised and fumbling. You can take half of your movement. Okay. And a single reaction. But I'm able to draw my weapon. Yes, you may draw your weapon as part of a movement. Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw my weapon and and walk in front of my grandfather because at the moment I'm right. on the opposite side to him. Um, and I can take one reaction, but not an action. 
Right, so you can you can interpose yourself basically, you can draw your blade, you cannot properly attack, but you could do something like knock him to the ground, or you just said you stood in front of him, so you could basically interpose yourself and take up a defensive stance. I would allow that as your action. Okay, yeah, right. I'm just going to walk in front of him and take up a defensive stance. Alright, so you just... my, my big burly shield and my mm -hmm. warhammer, and I'm basically going to try and shoulder, like kind of push my way in front of him to get him mm -hmm. a little further back and me in front, All right. and kind of plant myself in front of him. Very good. Next up, Doa. Bardic inspiration. Oh wait, I, I will. I'll allow that. If you'd <laughs> like. No, I'd allow. Basically, you only get like a bonus action or a reaction because oh, hey, surprise. That's bardic inspiration. Do you want to move or are you all set? No, I'm good. I'm within sixty feet. So I'm just gonna be like, this is my big moment. All right. This is what we've all been waiting for. Chat, run. <laughs> At uh, the uh, Tiberius. At Tiberius. <laughs> and what does Tiberius get for the Bardic Inspiration? He gets uh, to roll with advantage on a, um, let's see, on an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Now, I believe the the class feature gives you a dice that you can give him. Oh, it's a d6. That's there you what go. it is, actually. So, Bren, okay. set aside a d6. You may burn that on a, right. and you're a Valor you, Bard, right? I am a, uh, yes, College of Lo uh, Valor. Yeah. Okay. You may burn this on a roll of your choice going forward. Do you have the ability where he can, you can use it on a reaction yet, or do you not have that? Uh, nope, don't have that. All right, it's called cutting words or something, right? Something along right, those I lines. That's yeah. What I was yeah, and the uh, valor only gives me it doesn't give me anything relating to mm -hmm. that. Excuse me. I've It'll never come met a bard, not the College of Glamour before. I'm so shocked. It's fair. Hey, <laughs> College I, of Valor I'm bards. recording the deeds of epic people. That's <laughs> College of Valor right this there. This is just yeah. expanding my horizons. I know, I love right? It. All right. The man with the sword. Again, screaming, Khotan lives. Would we have knowledge of who Khotan is? Yes. 20 years ago, he saved the city from Khotan. A warlord who made a pact with Uzul, the Lord of Destruction, to gain a horde at their disposal of warriors to attack the city. It was by his magic that the warlord was defeated and killed. Do they or was she? For the horde? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, see you, Mika. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's uh, for the horde. Ah, for the horde. Yes, the My horde. Bad. It's a it's a regional thing. Yeah. It's Politics. from Humus. Horde. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyways, they're going to attack. You have interposed yourself, yep. so I'm going to grant advantage on this attack. And But it is forced to target you instead of him. Okay. What, is, what is your armor class? Uh, my AC is... 18. 18. All right. Is that real? <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my lord! <laughs> Brent's AC is 9. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just have the worst character in the world. <laughs> Oh my god, he gets sneezed Minus on Minus one die. initiative yeah. and nine armor class. <laughs> he, no, I have to keep him safe. I have yeah. to keep him yeah. this safe. Is, this is why you're here. This is your job. Yeah. We need this a piece for Brindar. Job. We'll figure that out in a moment. A piece oh, yeah. for Brindar. No, mm, it's, no a li it's a little. Red. It's a little bit much. Uh, I have a guy who looks... Yeah, no, that'll work yeah. fine. Great, go ahead and please place that. Can you put this behind me, please? All right, let's get with the shanking, shall we? Yeah. Or oh. we could not do oh, that. <laughs> is, that is a rough yeah. I roll. Yeah. A one and Even a first DM advantage. attack roll of the campaign. I'll be using the dice tower. <laughs> yeah. All right, runs up with this knife, screaming, just glances off of your shield. Not particularly impressive. You get the feeling that whoever hired these assassins paid a discount. Right, yeah. 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 Assassins are us. <laughs> oh, I'm going to swap these out because I'm now in front of you. Yes, mm, good well. call. Uh, Bren, what will Tiberius do? Well, I can't react, um, mainly because I, I just can barely move. But I'm just going to shout. <laughs> I'm going to hear him screaming at me about some warlord living again. I'm going to say, w which one was that again? I, I've been through a lot of you folks. <laughs> wait, wait, were you the ones from the deep, or was it the Elvish kingdoms, or was that up Dotane's area? And then I'm just going to try and cast Minor Illusion, if you allow it. What are you going to create a minor illusion of? Myself, as I slip backwards. So you're just going to shadow clone Jitsu yourself yeah. away? <laughs> yeah. These <laughs> references <much>. tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and create a little... Uh... Can you do a minor illusion of a person? I don't yes. think... Really? Can you? It occupies a five foot square. Right. Tiberius can. You know what you can't do? Is create a minor illusion of it being there and you not being wherever you also are. Sure. So 
Uh, I'd like you to roll an Arcana check. Well, also five foot square. How tall you are just you? Be like a short version. You have no feet <laughs> or something. Not twenty, baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Tiberius won the stave. All right. So where do you want to end up? As uh, you create this perfect, flawless illusion, positioned exactly, and you create not only an illusion of yourself, good. but an illusion of empty air, and you not mm. being there <laughs> in the five foot area, and then mm. you happen to shimmy right behind it to where? Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna skimmy on back over here, next to the bard, and I'm gonna put the bard in between me and the death. The active god counter <laughs> is at 53. All right, behind the bard. That's mm -hmm. uh, that's about right. Yeah. Moving right along, Mika, it's your yes. turn. You will be done with this ritual in 50 rounds. Then I stop that. All right. I stop that ritual right away. That's, that's, so that's combat. I, <laughs> I, I just I see all this happening and I just drop the bolts and I'm like, all right, never all right, mind. It, it clatters and little sparks of flower dust just scatter across the floor. Can I do a spell or am I only allowed to do like reactions and such? What spell do you have in mind? Uh, false life. False life? Yeah. That's like a defensive spell? Yeah. Are you casting it on yourself? Right. Yeah. I'll allow that. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, I would like to cast False Life, which is 1d4 plus 4 of temporary hit points. Mm -hmm. Is that a cantrip or a spell? It is a spell. All right. Uh, I'm so casting it at the first level. Okay. Um, which is just 5 extra hit points for me. All right. The life energy you were busy extracting from the flowers for your energy is mm -hmm. still floating around in the area. You weave that together and coat yourself in it to protect yourself from harm. And then I guess that's all I can do right now, but I just kind of elbow Brindar. I'm like, I knew it. I just <clears throat> point to danger. <laughs> he'll, like, he'll interpose himself between you and them. Oh, my hero. All right. Uh, next up. Where's, where's my... Uh, oh, there's the other guy. All right. So, the guy who is down below, he'll, whoa, easy, walk up to here, throw a grappling hook up onto the balcony, and begin climbing. Give him an athletics check. Okay, he begins mm. climbing. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be in charge, he's got this cudgel, he's ready to just bash some skulls as he makes his way up. Uh, next up. Ash. How far away is he, the climbing one from me? Oh, well, every square is five feet. Can someone five. do a count for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, it's looking seven. Like thir Maybe something like seven. 35, 40 feet. All right, and I only have half a move this time, right? Correct, because so, nobody made a roll on anything, basically. Uh, we also Half a move and a bonus action, or half a move and that's it? Oh, it depends on the action. What do you have in mind? Well, I have a bonus action. I could do. Uh, do I want to do that right now? Second level spell. Yeah, fine. Um, I would like to, um, you know, run whatever distance I can in their direction and All right, move for three squares, please, in uh, their direction. Cast. Um, Excuse me. Spiritual weapon as a bonus action. I will allow you to cast it, but the weapon cannot attack this round because you are surprised and you're not able to do the full thing. Cool. Meaning that it'll be able to just do its normal thing next round. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. What form does your weapon take? Uh, it is a trident. All right. And Ooh. how does it appear? A trident with a trident. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, I am actually my so my weapon. I also have a real trident. Oh, you just wielded trident. Another. Trident. No, I didn't create it. Yeah. So I I created a, a spiritual trident, Do which not actually so tridents. basically you'd have seen me sort of um, grasp. I'd be wearing like a necklace. Mm -hmm. um, Are you a cleric? I'm a cleric. Oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. There we go. There, it is. there we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, you'd see me like grab the necklace around my neck. Um, and then just kind of like throw my hand in a certain direction and uh, suddenly an ethereal looking trident that kind of res like almost looks like it's made out of water but sort of translucent and like more so than water is translucent more than water yeah. is translucent shimmery no picture like it sort of looks like water but also somehow like the ghosts in Lord of the Rings yeah oh, like, I, cool. I have the aesthetic yeah I like um, it yeah and it's sort of heading towards this dude floating of its own accord, heading heading for the attack. Brilliant. 
Um, All right. So I don't know. Is there like a little bead or something I should make my weapon? We'll grab something at, when I'm done processing a couple of other things. Cool. But yeah, we'll hold on to that. Uh, yeah, the box. Go ahead and just put that right there. Right by that dude. All right. So as you run past that dude and that dude's friends, they turn on you. Please bring all three of the nearest of those tokens. Uh -oh. direct, yes, directly adjacent. Uh -oh. As you go charging through, they were dressed like acolytes. They were blending into the crowd and they reveal themselves. Khotan lives! And they go start trying to stab the crap out of yes. you. Oh, what no. is your armor class? 18. That's pretty you, good. Wow, that's, that's really very good. good. That's wow. You've yeah, already wow. acted, so I'm not going to inflict... <laughs> they don't have advantage on this. That's okay. uh, the three of them lash out at you with their scimitars. Oof. Oh yeah. boy! Ooh. Two of them go wide, not failing to find you as you weave through the crowd. But the third one catches you with your momentum as you rush forward and scores <gasps> a critical hit. You take eight points of slashing damage. Wow! Ooh. And now it is time for our first act of God. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, here we go. We're you gonna give this D twenty a roll. This is the tier one act of God, and there are more to come. So this was just to set the stage. This was the one that was activated after ten. Subs. Correct. Right. We've already this is hit the beginning one. Okay. We've already Correct. hit the tier five one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're, yeah we're doing more. all of them. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so for the tier one. What is that? Natural that 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 where, were, where were these a few minutes ago? I'm suddenly very back afraid. Back yeah, different yeah. dice. That's what? insane. Yeah. That's it's ridiculous. Cool. I think that's we like, had this happen at Doa's campaign when well, he had no. advantage. I rolled two 20s at the same time. That's true. <laughs> I rolled, I rolled two advantage. dice yeah, and they were both 20. 20. Okay, that is, that is chat. Impressive. Name a player, please. Name a player. Name first a player. first one I see. First one I see. <laughs> I, I need to see chat. Oh, dear. Does it have to be? Bren. 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 I was the oh, next no. one. All right. Thank goodness. So, as you cunningly and expertly weave this illusion, calling on... You know, that old sorcery you've had all along, you st trip over the stool and fall on your ass and you're prone. What? <laughs> <laughs> My inspiration doesn't help you there, I don't know. Well, am, I, am I still behind yes. uh, Bendy Boy? Yes, you are. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Bendy Boy. Bendy Boy. Bendy boy. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, and on that note, we're going to do the next act of God on your initiative count. The tier two act of God. When your turn comes back around, it is now Josh's turn. Okay. Um... Can I... you move the uh, would-be assassin into melee range with you? This one? Yeah, he just tried to shank you. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, he is, he is shanking. Oh, no, he failed to shank. He failed yes, to shank. he is an attempted shanker. Uh, go next. Um, I, 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 as far as I'm aware, Tiberius is right behind me, so I have no idea that everybody's retreated and I'm just on my own. Correct, it's a very good illusion. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, you fooled even me, Grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I'm just going to take a meaty swing at this guy. All right, uh, a, a meaty whack. Yep. I got my war hammer and I'm just going to take a, a big old swipe at it. Alright, roll a d20, add your attack modifier. Ooh. Uh, that that is, is That's a meaty That's roll. 22. Alright. Your blow strikes true. He appears to be wearing studded leather, which is great if you're trying to stop a knife, not if you're trying to stop a giant chunk of metal. Roll for damage. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we were off to a good start. Possible. But, uh... But when is, um... Hmm. Okay. What's I up? Don't really understand that. On my Warhammer, it says 1d8 plus 4, and then underneath in little writing, it says 1d10 plus 4. That's if you drop the shield and you're using both hands. Ah, and you just okay. want to beat right. the crap well, out of somebody. I only did 5 damage to him. All right. Well, you know, that's better than no damage. Yep, that is absolutely true. All right. The, the blow barely seems to phase him. That's me saying he has a lot of hit points. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you want to move at all? Uh, no, I'm going to stay here. All I'm right. Just... You hold your ground. Doa, it's your turn. Yes. Um, what am I going to do? Did you just see me trip on my ass? Did I just notice him trip and like, yes. appear behind you me, very, basically? Well, he didn't appear because all that happened is like he, he kept standing there, but then he also walked away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he fell on his ass. <laughs> so I see him behind him like, what? Ah, yes. Great sorcery, uh, indeed. All right. Yeah. No, he is. That, that illusion was flawless. It was, it was literally I took flawless. a mental note of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do is calm everybody down Okay. with the spell Calm Emotions. All right. I'm going to try to, and it's a 60-foot a range, 20-foot okay. sphere. So pick four, a 4x4 four four area on the I map. I will pick um, the area right should okay. I draw four. some kind of box around it? No, I got uh, it. 4x4. Four four, like. four no, four. no. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, four. It, oh. It's a twenty foot area, so it's well, four across will, by four uh, across. I'll start it basically at that one mm -hmm. bad guy, and then extend it outwards off the edge of the balcony. So I don't want to affect him with it. 
I okay, to put you can it. angle that. Yeah. So you're gonna hit. You should be able to hit the the dude with the cudgel, the assassin, yeah. and one of the people in the crowd. It's like we all just need to chill out. All right. For a second here. Let me play something soothing, for people. And what sort of saving throw is it? And what's the uh, DC? That first? is a uh, charisma saving throw uh, mm -hmm. of thirteen. All right, apparently. charisma saving throw is coming up. Just playing careless. Was wh was it careless whispers <laughs> on a Disney? <laughs> 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 no, he's gonna try. What's your most soothing? What have you done? What have I done? There was no. I heard an actual note this time. We're evolving. That's not how you play the didgeridoo. It is oh, how you oh, turn just beat red. It's not a didgeridoo. We're yeah. in the universe here. He just pulled here. this out and he started playing careless whispers on a plank of wood. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Has anyone made a didgeridoo don't down. joke yet? Because I'm going to make it. Has anyone in chat done that yet? <laughs> Shiny gold star. All right. Prisma <laughs> saving throws. Coming up. Next nope. <laughs> yup. Yup. What? All right. So the assassin... As they're going in for again, they kind of stop and think about their life choices I'm for a so moment. I'm so calming, though. Figure out what happened and brought them to this moment. <laughs> Meanwhile, one of his compatriots is still trying to ascend the rope, and another one is in the crowd looking for someone to stab. They didn't really seem to notice. I'm confused, because when I played that back at school, everyone was immediately asleep. <laughs> yeah, so you know, fun. it's a different crowd. I guess so. It's hard. It's a tough crowd. All right. So now the assassin will go. Bren, you are on deck after that, so prepare your action. Mm. Uh, having been somewhat calmed, he's going to take a moment, look at the the bruise forming underneath his armor from your strike. Uh, look at you, look at the knife, and just ponder. He'll he'll back away. There's a heavily armed man. He will take the withdraw action to avoid taking an attack of opportunity and move five feet away from you into that corner. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, could I also inspire uh, him as well as a bonus action? I will allow that. You now right. have a d6 inspiration die. Yeah. Uh, Josh, that you can use on a roll of your choice. So go ahead and set a d6 aside for, for the later. Record, I'm keeping track of this. I've done two out of three. Yes. Yeah. So you have one more for the day. All right, uh, Bren, it's your turn. Could you do me a favor and roll a d20 for a tier two act of God? Oh, lovely. I'm gonna use the die that I rolled a d20 on. I don't. A oh. four. A four. You never <laughs> want to do that. You already taken the magic out of it. Sorry. Me. Sorry. <laughs> A four. It's like sitting at the uh -huh. slot machine that just hit the jackpot. All right, so the assassin backs away. This doesn't seem right. How did I get here? What life choices did I make? You know what it was? I forgot to put poison on my weapon. And he takes out a vial and envenoms his weapon. And it glistens with sticky black toxins as his weapon is empowered for this fight. So Doa chilled him out and you just... Made him poison his weapon. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh. Blame the chat. The chat did yeah, this. Yeah, chat so this. he now has a deadly envenomed weapon oh, that deals no additional he... dam poison That's damage not, in it's combat. Not good. Oh. A mm. lot of poison damage. Mm. Uh, anyways, what would you like to do? I'd like to get up. All right, that will take half of your movement. Mm. So you have 15 feet of movement left, and you still have your action. I'm going to move my character a little bit over to the side here so I have a clean line of sight. Do I know how far up the uh, the other lad on the grapple has moved so far? Oh, you figure he'll probably show his head in a moment. What do you have in mind? Uh, well, I was going to cast a, sl a flurry of snowballs okay. in an area. Uh -huh. And not only try and damage the, the fellow who's just slickened up his, uh, mm -hmm. his dagger with poison or his curved blade, slickened but also try and uh, <laughs> help the guy up. climbing up with a couple of snowballs. So what you can do is you can use your action to ready your spell, and then as soon as he... The trigger for your spell mm. comes across. You use your reaction to do the thing. Lovely. So you're basically charging up the spell and waiting for a clean shot. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take out a little white piece of rock, mm -hmm. a little chip from my from my pouch. I'm gonna start rubbing it between my hands as I start to encant all sorts of weird languages mm -hmm. in Elvish and primordial and deep speech. Just kind of not really knowing where I am at the time as yeah. my eyes are rolling back in my head as I'm doing it. And then everyone kind of feels the 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 temperature drop a little bit significantly as mm -hmm. you know we were out on the balcony you know the sun was beating down on us suddenly it feels like we should really be on some frozen tundras instead uh of of the uh, the balconies and i'm gonna start conjuring up and and you notice that there's sort of little snowflakes forming around me as well me and you hmm. bendy boy nice um, i like it I'm a fan of the frozen I'm tundra. I'm charging up the spell, and I'm waiting to see a head. So as soon as he pops up, you can go ahead and invoke your reaction, and that mm. will interrupt combat. Cool. Mika, they uh, don't, you're not sure if they've noticed you yet. You can't really see around the corner of the stairs. True, but I can see what's happening. Up on the balcony, yes. Up on the balcony. 
How far away am I from this kerfuffle happening? Uh, you look like you're a good 50 feet away at least. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, I can do this from here then. You're here? Uh, mm-hmm. Since my chromatic orb reaches 90 feet. Boom, that'll work. You're good. Yeah. yeah you're you can like you can see the assassin on the balcony, but mm-hmm. because of the balcony and the table and such, mm-hmm. he'll have a slight bonus to his armor class for cover. What if I, before I do that, because I think it is a bonus action technically, mm-hmm. uh, is face step a bonus action or an action? It's a bonus action. Yes. yes. Cool. I'd like to face step to where he doesn't have. Badass. That would be anywhere on the balcony itself. Cool. Mm. Where would you uh, like to be? I, wanna, I don't want anybody to have an attack of advantage on me. All right. You, he's on the other side of a whole bunch of folk who have sort of been... So, st- is like right here? Uh, yeah, I'd allow you to be up there. That's on another building. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you can just... Yeah, I want to face step over there. All right. And then I kind of, before he, I do anything, I want to turn back to Brendar and like make sure he knows that I'm over here so mm-hmm. he can start his, his leisurely jog to come All right. help mm-hmm. me. Um, and then, I mean, I'm, I'm close, but I can still cast... A chromatic orb oh. at which is the one with the poison? The assassin. The guy is on the balcony. Yeah. yeah. The other one. This one. This one. No. Yeah. I would like to chromatic orb his face. All right. And how does that work? Do you roll an attack? I roll an attack. By the way, Ash, you're next after an NPC. Uh. I would I'm like to die. use one of my luck feats to re-roll that. Okay. One of your luck dice has now been spent. Sweet. Shit! That was worse. <laughs> can I go back to it? Uh, you believe you can use the better of the rolls. Sweet. Okay, so <laughs> ten total. Does ten hit? Uh, just unfortunately, use no. Ten doesn't hit. Ten does not hit. He's an assassin. He's a bit, a little bit light on his feet. Shiz. Hmm. Uh, that's all I have right all now. All right, you step into the other world for a brief moment, and a flurry of winter accompanies you. So as you appear. You feel very much at home with the magical aura he's invoking, but not so much at home that you land your shot. <laughs> so a, well, a ball of energy goes careening off over the crowd. Oh, yes. Um, I have an additional effect. Hmm? Uh, it is there's a DC 11. Okay. What does my face step do with winter? Uh, it terrifies somebody. I want to say, but I believe you have to be adjacent to the person oh, or I? near okay. the person Maybe in order for that to activate. Um. I will look that up in the meantime. We can all move right. on to the next person mm-hmm. to what all of my... Excellent. Yeah, go ahead and pull that up. Yeah. Uh, I think it... Tra- oh, there's a camera. All right, moving right along. Our uh, our friend here with the cudgel pulls himself up. He's just gnarly and he's ready to go and he takes his first step. Uh-huh. And how do your snowballs work? Ah, well, as I'm channeling and encanting in primal, mm-hmm. I let out a, a scream of Frostavius Maximus, mm-hmm. and then I slam down a flurry of snowballs mm-hmm. that seem to just materialize out of nowhere, hitting uh, the center point. I'm going to try and hit both of them essentially, yeah, as much as I can, and they both have to roll a deck saving throw. All right. And Are we concerned about the window at all, by the way, with the noise? Um, Very good. Listen, I think it's better to. They be have a problem. Them. They can Let take it, it up with Tiberius. All right, <laughs> <laughs> snowballs to the face. Uh, so they roll dexterity saving throws. Yes. All right, here they go. And in the meantime, I roll three d eights. That's a natural twenty. Okay. Ooh. And that is a thirteen. A lot of twenties rolled tonight. Yeah. We're on fire yeah. right now. Check for weights. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did, they're not weighted. I microwaved them for a few minutes, but oh. <laughs> nah. Um, what's the saving throw DC? On your spells. 15. 15? Ooh, yeah. yeah. So the assassin with the poison unfortunately passes his save, but our new friend on the balcony does not. He gets clobbered. How much damage does he take? Uh, balcony boy is going to take a fat 16 damage Ooh. in cold. Ooh. That's pretty good. It's not bad. And, uh, and poison boy is only going to be taking 8. All right. Mm. He still seems to be doing all right. And is there any kicker effect to that or just a pile of cold They're damage? It's quite cold. All right. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're now covered in snow. Um, and, yeah. Uh, they're quite mm. cold. I did want them to chill out. But so, not, fun fact, like that. our friend here has tactical discipline, meaning that even in the face of unexpected snowballs and such, he gains advantage on all saving throws made during combat. Ooh. So he succeeds. Oh. He takes eight points of damage. Well, wow. You win some, you lose some. He goes, he hauls himself over the balcony, notices you flinging snowballs on the opposite side of a great pile of folk. And he will 
look at the assassin who's standing there and say, what are you waiting for? Attack! And with that iron order in his mind, he rushes forward and attacks you. Yes. Before that happens, yes. um, mm. the winter face death mm -hmm. within five feet of me, which I assume this one is. Every no, square is five feet. Shit, I thought every square was a Would point. you like to be within smiting range? Because I'll let you do it if you're willing to put yourself in harm's way. You'd have to readjust your position, your call. You know what? Going once. <laughs> going twice. Nah, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Never you. mind. Too All much right. of a risk. So please move the assassin into range and he'll just attack as if his body is not his own. Um, let's see. The other yeah, guy's up on the balcony too, right? Has he just gone up here? Yes, please move him just over the edge. Uh, and he also commanded one of his grunts on the ground who's going to this attack. One? No, the one adjacent to Ashley's character. Yes. Okay. So first off, the assassin's going to lash out at you. Uh, mm, see, I didn't roll a 20 for once. <laughs> What's your armor class? You said 18, 18, right? Yeah, that's... No. Boing! No joy. You see little bits of poison flick off on your shield. Mm. Meanwhile, down below, the... Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> you get slashed again. Was that another nat 20? No, it was not. Uh, <laughs> so you will take four points of damage. My armor class is also 18. Does I rolled at 19. Ah, damn it. Unlucky. Yeah. I like four it. points? Uh, yes, four more points of damage. And then it is your turn. Cool. Well, I'm surrounded, right? <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Kind of. You have a lot of friends. Would you like to make your spiritual weapon attack? Yeah, probably. Who do you want it to smack? Well, It'll that's keep... my bonus action, right? Yes. Uh, so, well, it's... Josh, you'll be up next after some NPCs. It, it's it, it's range is basically wherever I can. So I can, mm -hmm. I'm going to have it come up behind one of the guys attacking me. Because mm -hmm. all of y'all are focused on them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there goes my hat. I lost my superpowers. Wait, I attached it to the wig, so now I'm confused. There we go. <laughs> all right. Um, and I will uh, have it swing at, at the black bead. All right. Roll. Uh, that is an attack with your proficiency modifier and your spellcasting modifier. So what's your wisdom mod? My wisdom mod is plus four. Okay. And your proficiency is plus two. So this is at plus six. Okay. The glowing spiritual water triton. Uh, 17. Lashes through the water and then pierces into his flesh. How much damage do you do? 1d8 plus four. All right. Roll it. They're beautiful ducks. They are. They really they are. are. I'm super stoked on them. They were my my birthday present from Mitch. He went a little overboard with the real turquoise and the Banksia, but I'm not I'm not I'm not sure about this chat. I'm not sure about this. One D eight plus four. And our survey says is a four, so eight. Eight. It just immediately pierces him from behind, and you see the tines of the trident come out stained with blood. He seizes and falls to the ground dead. Oh. Give, me, give me that piece, please. Well, there goes my bonus action. Uh, yep, the rest of your turn. Sorry. It's pretty always in the mixer. Easy. <laughs> Easy. If uh, the red ones are anything like the black one, then that's squishier than the other guys, so that's helpful. Um, okay, and then for my action, mm -hmm. uh, I will... I don't think most of my spells are super, super useful. So, um... Once again, it'll be Josh, then Doa, then an NPC, then Bren. Go ahead. Cool. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I can only hold three instructions in my head at a time. I apologize. I'm going to... Um... Oh, I'm so bad at that. But yeah, I, I would uh, swing with my trident mm -hmm. uh, at the One adjacent to you? Beat adjacent to All me. All right. One of, one of the two. Doesn't matter which. Roll it. Cool. There is my d20. Where did it go? Did it's I in there. Away? It's in there. There it is. Right in front of my face. Okay. That. Oh, oh no. no. That's, That's a two. two. Well, <laughs> All right. Well. It's, it's probably not going to hit. <sighs> probably not. Uh, it's. Yeah. No, it won't hit. It, it I won't. can tell it's you right six. now. No. Doesn't matter. <laughs> six, two, Joe. Two misses. Six. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> not going to cut it. Oh. <laughs> Do yes, not I collect did, 200 gold pieces. Um, do you want to use any of your movement to trigger an attack of opportunity because they're in melee range? Yeah, I do. Okay, where are you going to move? Uh, they're going to use I'm an attack move. of opportunity. That's okay. I kind of... Wait, I already used a bonus action. You did. I? You did. Son of a bitch! If you have a reaction, I do have a reaction. That is different. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move towards... Uh, where this guy climbed up and see if I can sort of follow him up. How far? Three spaces? Is that... No, you can go over the full distance. The yeah, yeah now, the first one is going to swing at you, whiffs through the air, 
The second one will do the same. What's your armor class? 18. 18? No joy. Bounces off of your armor. I actually kind of wanted them to hit me. Yeah, I figured Tempest clerics are fun. Hmm. Uh, bring, bring, <laughs> that actually... Oh, is that with her? Oh, yeah. no. If, no, it it's just keeps there. floating. Oh. She it's can just, have it just as her bonus action. Just keeps stabbing people. It attacks incredible. all by itself. That's amazing. It's the Moonbeam 2.0. You know? <laughs> yeah. Every campaign, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Moonbeam's <laughs> AoE. This just gets to kill one person. Eh, it's still Kinda. pretty good. Also, doesn't do nearly as much damage. Also valid. <laughs> All right, so on the ground, they watch you run away. They're just going to chase after you. Please move three of them into melee range. As they go after you, want that? Oh, boy. Let the, rec let the record that show. Let one. the wow. record show. Yep. Wow. Uh, so that will be eight I points of damage. Okay. To me? That's, yes. Uh, your armor class is 18? Yeah. Four points of damage and a miss. You take 12 Ooh. points of damage as they just fall on you with fanatic you're anger. Doing, doing okay, good. well, the two that it. hit me, mm -hmm. can I react? Yes, you can. Cool. When a creature within five feet that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to cause the creature to make a dex saving throw. Uh, no. ah, DC what? 14. Four. It was a four. It was a four. What are you freaking out? This okay, is the 20. I thought he rolled another 20. No, 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 no. I thought he rolled another 20. I was about to take that dice away. <laughs> like I said, oh. everything Bren says uh, out of character is just so Tiberius rambling. Uh, exactly. Uh, he just randomly goes, what? 2d8 lightning. <laughs> Did he roll another 20? 2d8 like, lightning what the hell damage. What about Tiberius? So he You're stabs you. He's like, yes, yes, for a whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. He takes 2d8 lightning. Uh, so 4 plus 6 total. 6 total? All right, still alive, but looking a little bit worse the wear and frazzled. Uh, do you go down or are you still up? Uh, it was uh, four, 12 more total. 12 total. I'm yes. still I'm still up. All right. Oh my gosh. Now, these two here, they are going to move. Hmm. I'm glad I put enough in con. <laughs> They're going to start climbing up the balcony. Which two? These two? Yes. Okay. One of them only begins. The other one quickly vaults up and is now at the top, move. preparing to move. flank you. Okay. Yes. They, do they see my illusion? Um, yes. Technically, I think your illusion is about to evaporate because you mm -hmm. had to concentrate on maintaining your spell. Cool. So yeah. on your next turn, your illusion will be gone. It's a minor illusion. Yeah, it's a concentration it's spell. Yeah. Absolutely. It's gone. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, Lanre the Paladin and Arya the Priestess of Death. Arya is going to leave to get help and fetch the guards. So go ahead and remove the blue dragonborn piece, please. Uh, meanwhile, I'm not sure if any of you seem to be in huge distress. Let's go ahead and move Lonray up to the guy with the cudgel. He will attack and bounce off the man's shield. Mm -hmm. So, no joy on that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go ahead and do a third act of God. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> um, a higher tier is Brendar any closer to me yet? I should have moved him on your turn. Let's double move him. So, move him to the base of the stairs, please. All the way down. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So, he's he across the room for me. Yeah, so he's 20 feet down because that's the street. Oh, okay. And he's like two houses over. Oh, gosh. But he can see one of the attackers climbing up. Okay. All right. So we're going to do two more acts of God this round. And then at the end of this round, we're going to do the big one. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I'll just go ahead and roll d d20. Our service says seven. <laughs> oh, no. I like that. I like that. Don't make that face. No. Don't make that face. <laughs> no. not good. <sighs> Bad things are happening. Why, why are you thinking? How do I do this what? without killing them all? What, Joe's why like, is and the show is over. Problems. They're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first time That's we just true. re -roll. <laughs> Make right. characters. Um, it's a good bargain so, for a while. As you're battling, I need everybody to roll a dexterity saving throw. The sun exploded. Oh, I'm okay with those, actually. <laughs> I am Did not I okay, okay with that. If you got less... If you I am going to use a lucky uh, thing for this. Okay. Ooh. There we go. That's much better. Uh, 14. 13. 17. 8. 13. 22. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a couple more rolls. Everyone's fine except Brent. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We're trying to save you, you useless wizard. <laughs> Flip both of those two on their sides, please. These ones? These those ones? tokens, yes. And then the assassin is still on his feet, and the uh, iron console is also on his feet, and Lonray the paladin is also on his feet. Uh, oh, he's on his feet. And, Bren is, and Bren is prone. And Bren is knocked as he was already prone. Earth shakes. The you entire city 
shudders before <laughs> you hear the river itself burbling. Bren becomes a tunnel gnome. It's terrible. <laughs> She's gonna uh, go fix something with the stream. The stone hole. shakes. Don't dust to falls the from the, the all mic, the stones. The same. And <laughs> the platform where the high priestess is standing under the waterfall, oblivious to all of this, <laughs> as the ritual goes on, cracks and oh. she plummets into the river below. Oh. Please place oh. her in the river. Yes. Bye, priestess. Uh, disaster strikes. Something Very goes good. horribly wrong. That's the exact. <laughs> oh. Yes. Right. right. Uh, in the initiative order is shit. Josh, Doa, NPC, Bren, Mika, a bunch of other people. Then. <laughs> shit. So uh, so we're gonna go ahead and on Bren's turn. It's not your fault. You're just midway through the initiative count. We're gonna do our fourth act of God. Oh. So, <laughs> Josh, you're up. Back to me. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna take another swing at this assassin that's in front of me. Um, uh, Doesn't matter. Mm, 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 I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> probably I just, for the, probably I just for the miss. All right. Did you ever pick any spells or anything like that? Yes. Yeah. yeah I've picked spells. All right. They just all need someone to actually hit me, and at the moment, everyone's bouncing off me. So. All right. Did you just use your bardic inspiration? No. Oh, he no. thought about it. I thought about it, and then it was like, nah, the roll is too bad for me. <laughs> We're not even moment. close. Right. We're yeah. not even there. Uh, all right, so moving right along, Doa, your turn. Um, if I if I turn to help Tiberius up, mm -hmm. uh, is that a full action or is that a bonus? Action? I will use half of your movement to do that. Okay. Okay, sure. So because mm -hmm. I'll see him fall down, I'm like I'm like, oh, Tiberius, like I help mm -hmm. him up because I'm kind of idolizing this guy, right? Go ahead, you lift know? him up, please. And then what so, else will you do? Um, then I want to actually rush and uh take a swing with my scimitar at the dude who got up on the balcony behind uh josh's character all right the, yeah. the cloak is it should be half my movement because it's five feet so that's 15 to get there that would be three squares which i believe right. would put you uh oh no yeah no you're in range go yeah. ahead and move the silver piece the bard up to the uh resolve your attack we'll move you in a sure. moment all right swing away <coughs> with the scimitar and it's a 19. yeah all right. Goes right through. He raises Sweet. his own scimitar to block you, and you go right through his defenses. Roll Sweet. damage. It is 1d6 plus 3. It's, it's uh, 6. All right. Uh, he was on his ass. So oh, that's true. Roll a second d20 just oh, in case. He? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, did we not? No, no, no. Some of these no, he wasn't going after that guy. He was no, going no. after the red piece in the corner. Yeah, yeah, that uh, one's behind, behind you. Behind you. Behind yeah, exactly. Behind uh, so Josh roll a second d20 just in case it's a crit. All right. Uh, it is not. All right, then you take six points of damage. He's oh. grievously injured. Cool. Grievously injured. All right. And uh, any bonus actions? Are you good? Uh, no bonus actions. Very well. Uh, next up, it is the assassin's turn. He's being assailed by a paladin and by a you, and his true target is out of the way. Let's see what he can do here. Not a great deal. Hmm. Not a great deal. This isn't really working out in his favor, but <laughs> he's determined. He has a job to do. And if that means taking his action to withdraw so he can then go around the table to get in melee range of Bren, then that's what he's going to do. Please move him. Who Who is withdrawing? The assassin. So I, I made a mistake last time. I actually get opportunity attacks even if people withdraw. Really? Because I have a sentinel uh, oh. ability. Well, he probably should have looked at your character sheet before he did that, shouldn't he? <laughs> Roll your attack. Okay, excellent. You use your reaction, you swing at him as he tries to go after your grandpa. Uh, I'm going to use my use bardic, bardic inspiration. inspiration, Marcus. <laughs> That's an 11. Don't Plus let you're, you have a grandpa oh, yes, die. Oh, sorry. That's, um, that is a 17. Okay. As he tries to slip past you, you see exactly where he's going and your warhammer lands in that spot. Roll for damage. Oh, my word. Oh, a crushing blow. That is a 12. 12. He's taken 25 points. Jeez. You hear a hideous crack as he grunts under the pressure. 25. Yikes. He moves with a limp, but he is still able to clear the ground and reach Bren, but he used his action to withdraw, meaning he cannot strike. Mm -hmm. uh, Bren, it is your turn. Before you take your turn, two things happen. <laughs> One, your illusion vanishes. Two, please roll a d20 for a tier four act of God. Oh, no. It's 13. A 13. Lucky 13. Please be beneficial. Mm. Chat, please be kind. <laughs> Chat, name somebody. Oh, no. This is going to be not Bren again. Josh. Please. Oh, <laughs> oh all right. There we go. Okay. Marcus. Nothing happens yet. <laughs> That's making oh. me more worried. Uh -oh. <laughs> Until the next time you sleep.
What? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Alien? Is something to do with the day of the nut? Don't worry about <laughs> yeah, it. Yes. It has everything to do with the day Hang of the on, nut. Hang on, I'm editing the 13 right. on the table. Your home expanded uh, to twice the size and is, there's now a fire burning through it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, what would you like to do? I am in a, a massively overkill fashion. I see this guy come up to me limping. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, the look of him, you know? This... He's a probably a, a younger mm. athlete, warrior. He's uh, dressed up in almost completely normal clothes for a citizen of Masru, except for the fact that he's wrapped a cloth around his face. His he's got uh, kind of gray, faded brown eyes as the spell that he casts on him struggles against the command of the Iron Console, who told him to strike you down. Mm. This is a trained killer. Trained killer. Not top of the line, but he is a trained killer. Oh, I must show you the error of your ways. And I begin to chant and cast and pull all the energies towards me as mm -hmm. I start to create a swirling inferno above me. What? Massive pillar of fire just starts to be conjured out of nowhere. And I unleash a roar as I bring my hands up to my mouth and breathe fire in a 30 feet radius out in front of me into him. <laughs> all right. I am glad that I moved away. That he's standing I'm there facing right. this oh, way. Civilians around 30, here? 30 feet long, 5 no, feet wide. No, but, uh... The... Five feet wide. Five feet this? wide. This is a rooftop is, at the same level. It's only five feet wide. Agonizar's Scorcher. Yeah, so it's close enough for you to feel it, but not for you to take any damage. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so as the winter yeah. Eladrin stands there Very casting pleasant. a spell, just this gout of flame rushes towards you. Enough for you to feel like your skin and... Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a, a DC 15 dexterity save. All right, go ahead and start rolling your damage while I roll this. I rolled a 16. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. I rolled a 16, Hope so I have saved on the spell. So probably half damage, I would think. Um, what does it say on a saving throw? We'll say half, half damage. Generally Great. Half. Have you finished rolling dice? Yes, it right. is 13. So half that. Is... So six damage, meaning he's up to 31. As he just barely dodges out of the way, this fire rips past him. He's slapping his arm. Mm -hmm. You smell cooked meat rising from him. Yeah. But his purpose drives him forward, and he is not yet slain. Mm. Uh, any movement or bonus actions? Mika, you're on deck. Sweet. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to comment and say, yeah, uh, my... Uh, <clears throat> Spell casting's not what it used to be. Uh, <clears throat> that happens look, when you get older. Just peering around his shoulder to see if there's any damage to the building behind me, seeing if there's any flames. Yeah, um, there was an, there's, this is like a nice patio over here. They had an awning. <laughs> was, was. That's on fire. <laughs> um, they had some hanging creepers and vines and stuff. Fortunately, those were pretty wet, so they mm -hmm. didn't burst into flames, but they popped. Yeah. So I'm there's gonna... there's sizzling and... Uh, there used Chad to be a, a lovely hummus rug on the floor, <laughs> yeah. a little bit singed. Uh, I'm just going to try and intimidate him and say, you come for the Tiberius wonder stave as I rip open my chest. <laughs> I roll up your chest? Just this emancipated... Rip, rip open my chest. chest. <laughs> my entire chest. I, I rip open oh, no. my robe. My, uh, Entrails my chest everywhere. piece, my robe. To a degree that is intimidating, but not in violation of Twitch TOS. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. All right, as a doing. bonus action, I will allow you to roll an intimidate yeah. check. <laughs> oh god <laughs> that's so accurate Boldly disembowels mm. himself well yeah, it's so it's not going to be intimidating him but go on yeah. tell us what it is it's i rolled a three but i have plus five to intimidation wow it's actually an eight okay that's a nutty plus five you know <laughs> ten, ten years ago he would have peed himself and run away uh, these uh, days it's like the pecs aren't what uh, they used to be you yeah. know the sagging there's one dolphin. sagging a little bit more <gasps> than the other it's uh, not it's not, not great it's, it's like a, a Few pieces of greasy mm. dove like still in there. Basketballs hung yeah. on a jungle gym. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> what a visual! Oof. What a visual! Yeah. All right. Uh, moving right along, Mika, it's your turn. That's me. It got a fire just raged past your head. That's what would you a like to do? Lot happening. Um, yeah. I am going to point at 
poisoning McPoison over here, right? That's poisoning. He's moved over there. Oh, that's poisoning McPoison. Yes, he's trying to this shank is, the This is uh, Cudgel Man. Cudgel, Cudgel Man. Man. I point at Cudgel Man. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to cast a ray of sickness, please. All right. That's a saving throw, I believe. Constitution? Yes, it is, actually. All right. And what is your DC? Uh, DC 12. I actually have an attack as well as a con saving throw, so. Oh, so you hit him first. I hit first. All right. Which is Or do you? Four. Uh, You do not hit. I don't hit him. That is correct. Okay, then as a bonus action, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to cast Dragon's Breath on myself. Those are Apparently both alert. spells. Alert's but it's a casting time is one bonus action. Chat's saying. We'll let it ride. I think there might be a rule about this. Yeah. Let's just do okay, it. Okay, we're Let's just, just going to do it. it. All right. Uh, then I'm going to hold my... That's all I can do. No, I mean let's let's do it for now. We'll look it up later. Oh well, yeah. No, but that's the, all I do is I have the ability now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then I would yeah. probably allow it. Even oh yeah. If no, it's not, really I'm, it's not it. like I'm not I'm not casting the breath, but now I have. Uh, you the just ability. invoke it. Yeah. yeah no, I that's fine. It. All right. Dragon's Sweet. breath is active. He wanted to light the building on fire. You want to light the building on fire. You don't have to use fire, do you? <laughs> no, I can use poison breath or ice breath or lightning breath. That's right. That's right. Praise Tiamat. Pretty good. Um, <laughs> exactly. All right. Moving right along, it is the uh, cudgel man's turn. He is going to... He didn't turn off host alerts. Apparently oh. it's a problem. Mm. Well, that's... Back to your tunnel, go, tunnel, go, tunnel, tunnel, tunnel goblin. Table. I'm sorry. Go fix I'm sorry. it. <laughs> it's only... Ha Apparently it's only happened once, this, but no, you're, you're there already now. Yeah. You're here now, so... I think... Go without me? Uh, well, going. it's not your turn yet. We're fine. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and do the same thing. He's going to knock over the tables and cushions on his way, spring, put his foot right in the roasted dove, and climb up on the table and just give you a hearty swing. Me? Yes. A little Tiberius? Oh, for, for the record, because yes? uh, I have combat inspiration, you can also add your uh, bar, your, your bar die. That's the thing I was to, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, this is... This is uh, relevant. You can add to it to your IPC. AC. As a reaction. As a reaction. It will use right. your reaction, which refreshed, right. so you do have that available. Mm. So here's what he's going to do. He's going to multi-attack. First, he's going to try to stab you with his spear. Let's resolve that. That's a liner. We're going to revoke that one. That is a 14. We already covered this. Your armor class is 9. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to hit you. Okay. Unless well, you'd like to use that dice. Not yet. All right. That's probably good. You, it wouldn't have worked anyways. Uh, you take six points of damage. Unlikely. Yep. Wow. Mm. That's not ideal. Seven. He's using his spear with both hands. So you take seven total. Seven. And he is going to command his ally on the ground and the assassin both to attack. With his, And so they're going to... His special ability allows them to attack. The assassin will lash out at you with the venomed dagger. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, for a total hit roll of 17. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, so you take 11 points of damage. Ooh. Well, I am zero. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when Josh goes under the table. Yep. Uh, I am on zero. All right, knock over the sorcerer, please. I can't see that you are injured from where I'm standing. Mm -mm. The Iron Hand closes on Masru. Hail Uzul. And then the one on the ground is just going to try to poke at you because he hasn't stood up yet, so he what has happens? a disadvantage. Right. <laughs> I'm dead. Ow. What's your armor class no, again? he's bleeding uh, out. My armor class he's is 16. All right, so, uh, no. That's a miss. Right. That's a miss because he's uh, he's prone, so he has disadvantage. Cool. All right, so Tiberius has fallen. Uh oh. <laughs> Your turn. Well, that's a my problem. turn. And then we have uh, NPCs and end of round. Well, I didn't see Tiberius fall. That is correct, and you've got three so goons I'm going after you. Yeah. In a corner. With very few hit points. By three goons. Yeah, it's not looking great. Dead. Yeah, things are great. First, first fight, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's going good. <clears throat> so this guy's prone, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, my, my floating whatever I'm jiggy, yep. floating trident, is going to attack this one. You severely injured a, another one, I believe. Wait, which one? Was that. it this one? I don't, honestly don't know which ones are which now that they've moved. Well, one of them is severely injured. So whichever one is severely injured. One of them's prone, one of them's severely injured. They're not the same person. The prone one gives you advantage. The severely injured one will probably die when you stab him. What would you like to do? I want to attack the severely injured one. All right, roll an attack. This is with your, this is at like plus six, I think. Yeah, I think it was plus six yeah. with my weapon. Roll it first, because if it's really high, the number doesn't matter. 
or really low? It was a crit fail. Okay. Well, oh. now we don't need the number, do we? <laughs> nope. What would you like to do with your action? Uh, well, seeing that I did not hit uh, anything with that, unfortunately, somehow when it crit failed, it didn't hit me. <laughs> Thank you, DM. Um, I would don't like me yet. to... Fuck. <laughs> um, ahem, I would like to use my action to try uh, to shove between those two and run to the water because I've just seen the priestess fall into the water. Roll an athletics check. Hi, I'm proficient in that. They have advantage because you're trying to push through two of them. Oh, well, I didn't roll very well. So. Yeah, well, neither did I. What'd you get? <laughs> Nine. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! As the earth shakes, you're still a little woozy on their feet and you just sort of duck. It's not so much that you pushed as that you brushed. You know? Brushed between the two? You have now brushed between the two? Uh, you can reach the water yeah, easily with your water, movement. I would dive in to try and... Pl place yourself adjacent. With incredible speed, you fly through. And as you go, you see p you're flying past... You're swimming past chunks of stone that fell as the balcony collapsed. Cool. Well, fortunately, I'm slightly more agile in the water. Yeah. No, this is... You're very comfortable here. You're able to weave through the rubble with cool. ease. Um, so I would be trying to get to her. You and, reach her and uh, are unable to do anything else with this turn. Because you use your action to push past them. That's fine. Unless you have a bonus action. No. Which you used to stab the guy. But if it's a bonus action, <laughs> you would have let me breathe into her mouth. I would have tried. We're not there yet. Cool. All right. Um, so we move right along. The three of them, as you dive into the water, uh, and as the earth shakes, and as they're being chased by a spectral stabby stab, uh, they're going to go, one of them is going to rise to his feet. Which is still within 50 feet of me, or if it's not, it would have followed me. You're good. Cool. That's 10, that's like a lot. Of well, stuff. I'm also going down, that's why. Also true. All right, how can I do this without blocking? I, I think I want to do you want to do over here. Why don't uh, we do it? With those rolls, absolutely nothing. <laughs> those two start climbing up the balcony. Put them adjacent. That one rises to his feet, the one who's flipped over, and he's going to make yet another stab at you, Sir Bard. Oh, no. That is a one. Get right, <laughs> yeah. As he does, his scimitar clatters off of you and falls over the balcony 20 feet below. Where, oh. his, where his compatriot rises to his feet and sees the most triangular high elf he's seen in his life round the corner. <laughs> uh, <but> triangular! <laughs> well, yeah, that thing you said go. would happen, happened. Um, but he does not fear death, so he's going to go ahead and charge Brindar. Where he, who's wearing full plate mail. But even that's not going to stop a 19. Oh. Brindar takes four points of damage. Roll a constitution save. Yeah. Uh, with me? Uh, for Brindar. Okay. Yeah. This is a... It's a 18. Okay. Wow. It's no appreciable damage. He doesn't really take a wound. Some hearty constitution. This is... I'm quickly spitballing some of Matt Colville's uh, retainer rules. Oh, okay. So we're not going to track his health. But we'll, we can... Later campaigns. If he gets... Basically, if he gets hit... Right. You're going to roll a con save. Okay. To see if the hit sticks. And okay. after he's taken like three of those, he's down. Got it. Nice and easy. I really don't feel like this actually went back on. No, I did. It's, it's a bit finicky. All right. That's fine. I say as I'm on the floor bleeding out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't so, so down, life. man. Yeah. I'm saving a priestess. Life is a bit finicky. The fifth stage act of God will oh, activate... Boy. God, on Bren's turn. Oh my word. Everyone heals to full There's health. no way it's going to be beneficial, though. Please be beneficial, <laughs> chat. Please. How I, I, will, I will say, this act of God was going to happen anyways, but the way it's going to happen has been irrevocably changed by <laughs> chat. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Excellent. TPK first campaign. Yeah. It would be hilarious. Thanks for watching. We spent an hour and a half setting up. Bye, everybody. Bye, New campaign. It would be hilarious. That would be really funny. Yeah. I actually once... Well, we should get on with it. <laughs> we'll tell more stories later. That's true. Uh, Josh, it's your turn. Okay. Your grandfather is down, and there's two very angry men screaming about infernals over his body. Okay, uh, and one of them is limping, yeah? Yes, severely and the other injured. one is just fine. pretty I, fine. He's taken like, a little bit of damage from snowballs. Okay. Um, can I move an attack in one turn? You can. You can so move up to your move speed, and you can make an attack. And they're definitely within 30 feet. Sure. I'm going to move around this side of the table. All right. Uh, and I'm going to try and plant myself kind of in front of his body again. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am going to use my action surge so that I can take one additional action. All right. So um, why don't you take your first action? Sure. I'm going to attack the limping one first. Great. You attack the assassin. <laughs> and that is a 13. Would you like to buy a vowel? 
Um, or use bardic inspiration. I've already yeah, used my bardic inspiration. Oh, he did? Oh, All right, yes. you would not like to buy a vowel. Nah, nothing. No. He parries with his blade. Okay, uh, I am going to attack the uh, guy with the limp again. With the uh, actions. Okay, much better. And this better. is your action surge, right? Yes, this is my action surge. All right. The sight of your grandfather bleeding out with poison sort of sticking in the wound sends you into a flurry of energy as you reach out again with your warhammer. Roll for damage. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, I hit him for 11. Okay, what happens? No, sorry, not 11, 9. What happens to him? Um, I, I sm I'm aiming for his skull. I've already missed him the first time. I swing mm -hmm. back around and smash him square between the eyes. All right. You hear a sickening crack as stuff gets on your face. He falls to his knees and then collapses with whatever's left of his face directly in a pile of roast dove. Go ahead and remove him, please. <laughs> Not the dove! <laughs> Not the dove! Was that the guy? I think so, yeah. This was the guy with the curved scimitar. Uh, it no, that's the one standing on the, that's oh. the cudgel. Yeah, it's, it's what we get for using the, it's what we use, get that's for using the, the same model. But red means bad. There's a red thingy coming towards the green thingy, and I think the green thingy is us. <laughs> um, all right, Doa, it's your turn, unless you have a bonus action. Uh, uh, I No, I do not have a bonus action that I want to use this All time. right. All right. Um, well, the the guy next to me stood up again, so uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to finish him off. He's severely Because I notice... You know, I noticed that uh, you've already taken out one of these guys, so I'm not as worried about it, so I figure I can just uh, finish this guy off, add a little, you know, line to my uh, mm -hmm. song to put into this little battle, and then uh, get back to helping the wizard, even though he is looking a little bit, a little bit, uh, you know, worse for wear right now. Worse for wear, he's bleeding to, out. To say that, yeah. <laughs> you know, first things first, you know. He's a great true. hero, he's That's been true. here. I did not realize how absolutely paper thin oh, your yeah. character I'm here was. For the no He's HP, away. no armor class. I don't, I'm, I'm going to take a armor. swing at the guy. That's why. Uh, it is uh, 8 plus 5, 13. Where am I not from? All right, steel clashes on steel, and... Wow, these guys suck. You hit him. Oh, wow, all right. <laughs> cool, I'll take it. Uh, D6 plus 3. It is 9. 9. The max. Yeah, that's plenty. He goes yes. down with another slash of your scimitar. Sweet. He falls screaming to the street what? below. So as a... Uh, Wilhelm guess... dot lovely, wave. Lovely. Yep. So then I can still move, right? Yes, and you so, have a bonus action if you have anything. Uh, yeah, well, I will move um, adjacent to the other guy that's, mm -hmm. uh, that he's fighting. And then bonus action, um, I don't think I've got anything else I can think of. Really, it's just bardic inspiration. And two-weapon fighting, how does that work as a bonus you action? You can use a bonus action to attack with another weapon. Oh, really? If you have one in your offhand. Oh, all right. I'll have to figure that out later. Do you have a feat or anything for that, or do you just have two weapons? I think that is because of the bard college. I'm trying to remember where I picked that up. Because I didn't right. take it as a feat. I took Lucky as a feat. So I get okay. that through some yeah, of my Yeah, for class. most people, two-weapon fighting is not particularly good unless you're spec'd for it. Right, because um, you get negatives to the second attack. Yes, you, you basically, if you hit your attack, you don't get any ability modifiers to your damage. Right. So if you want, if you have another weapon, go for it. I have an unarmed strike. I can just want to punch him. No, you're not really proficient. You're not a monk. It's true. So It says it listed in my actions. Everyone has that. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, let's let that one fly for now. Uh, so, moving right along. Bren, two things. First, I would like you to roll a death saving throw. This is an unmodified d20 roll. That's a 19. Oh, you have gosh. one Whoa. success. <laughs> Needed that. And a second. Everybody, please roll, except for you. You're already on your ass. A dexterity saving throw. In the water? Not in the water. This one's not, as, this is not in the water. Like, I don't think I can be prone in the water. Uh, <laughs> 17. You manage to stay on your feet. Go one for Brindar while we're at it. 10? 10. You teeter over and fall prone. Uh, Brindar rolled an 8. Tip me over too. Right. Brindar, he's... I'm there's a lot going on there. He's, he's an elf, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, he falls over. Brindar, with a no! clang. Anyone else? Doa? 10. That's why I had Josh tip me over. Excellent, yeah. excellent. We're going to roll for the, the folks on the ground. Uh, go ahead and knock two of them over, please. The ones climbing? Uh, yeah, let's, let's have them fall right back. Ah. The earth shakes. The city screams. Chaos erupts. You see buildings collapsing. As you reach for the high priestess and seize her in your arms, the river shakes and suddenly an incredibly strong current starts pulling you down. Yikes. Roll a strength saving throw, please, Josh. With disadvantage, because you're prone now. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> oh that's wow. Little tens. 
Uh, strength saving throw, 16. Okay. Wow. That's right, oh. you're a fighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, you can hear the house that the balcony is built on cracking. And you just hear chaos as objects are thrown and furniture shatters. And the ground beneath your feet, you barely roll to the side as the stone of the building splits with a terrible screaming shriek. And a tree just pops right up out from underneath you. A tree? A tree just rips through the foundation and emerges. And then over here, right next to you, mm -hmm. two trees just burst oh, from the God. earth. And it starts to, as the building begins to collapse. The it's river bubbles as trees just rip. It's the forest. <laughs> <laughs> the forest has come for us. I know exactly what this oh is. Oh my God, I know what's happening. <laughs> oh my God. This is all my fault. But not my fault not in this fault. character. The other character. Yeah, so none my of the other What happened? Words. I have no idea. I don't know what. For the purposes of this campaign, trees are happening. Oh, <laughs> all right. Random. And none of your characters have I mean, any idea we why. We like if, trees uh, in general. True. If you'd seen yeah. the previous like campaign, trees. blame Lysha. Yeah. Yeah, Lysha cast way too many magic spells and caused yeah. a her. druidic. Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. kind of. Okay. Yeah. During kind of. a space of wild fey magic, her home may have expanded by two sizes, and her home is a forest. Yeah. Oh, okay, trees. Yeah. Trees. So <laughs> all around you, like the whole city, you see bridges just cracking. Buildings built into the side of the cliffs of the canyon wall. Just a tree will rip forward, and an entire house will fall into the streets in pieces. The river, where it's built into canals, where over years they've used stones and such to divert the flow of the river, just starts flooding out in directions as trees rip through the this floor of the river. You did this, it is yeah. utter pandemonium <laughs> yeah. right now. Do you in feel this good about city. yourselves, chat? You did this. Caused thousands of people to die. But at least it was via tree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's worse, there's worse ways. Well. Yeah. Disease Just think is about way worse. it like that. We're <laughs> breathing so much better now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so much oxygen. Wait, did trees Lungs pop of up the in world, the they too? say. Yes. <laughs> they just died. Yes. Bust. That's that weird, that <laughs> weird that's current that you current felt. Was? There's a tree now, and it ripped a hole in the river's bed, and now it's flooding out into some other level of the city. <laughs> Do so, I still have a hold on her, though? For now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Quick, turn into a druid again. All right. <laughs> talk to the tree. <laughs> Josh, it's your turn. A tree just ripped through the through the floor. The okay, uh, whereabouts has Wait, the tree Josh split me off from anybody? Um, t -t 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 yeah, it's between you and him. Did you not get your turn? No. You're right, because we did. I, I'm sorry. I thought we was went it, to end of round. Okay, clear? Mika, there's a tree next to Meow. you. Forget him for now. Meow. <laughs> um, question. Yes. If I walk over here, will I be able to see all of them in a balcony? They are 20 feet below they're you. 20 feet below me. Yes, they're in the streets. You'll are have you to walk sure? around. You'll have to walk around a tree. <laughs> uh, what do you need here? What are you looking for? I wanted to lean over the balcony and dragon's breath on them. What's the range? 15 feet. Oh. Wait. Yeah, 15 foot cone. <laughs> well, can you think of any ways to make that work? If I jump, but then I'd hurt myself. <laughs> Maybe. Do an, do, but it would look sick roll. if you were dragon's breathing on your way yeah, down. On my way down. Yeah. You roll down. <laughs> Major style points there. Um, yeah. is, there a safe, is there a tree next to me that I could climb down? Sure, why not? <laughs> it's at a bit of an odd angle, it's but yeah. But I mean, that would be close. You know, it'd be mm -hmm. better if it's at an angle. I can mm -hmm. gently walk down this tree like a ramp. Which do you have better, ac ac acrobatics or athletics? Acrobatics. Okay, let's. Why don't you roll an acrobatics check? This is far less dangerous <gasps> than just jumping. Twenty-one. Doesn't matter. All right. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, okay. this whole place is starting to feel much more like home. Yeah. And so, very much at home, you're able to navigate the canopy of this tree city. So now I wanna. All right. Is you're that close enough to 15 feet them? Yeah, you walk out on this tree standing over them as they're just flat on the ground and... And I don't have to roll for this. They just have to make a deck saving throw. What energy type are you going to use? I'm going to use poison. Okay. Ooh. No, oh. I'm going to use acid. Acid? Yes. I'm wow. going to, acid breathing. I'm going to breathe grim. a 15 mm. foot cone of acid onto them. Nice. Okay, so the... So there is just no thought about saving civilians and <laughs> architecture. And there's no, there's no one there. It's the, just... It's uh, also, let it be known that I'm saving a priest. The arc That's <laughs> true. You know. You've been very responsible. And I'm yeah. killing bad people. I'm being responsible too. <laughs> I'm inspiring. Clean people. up your Everybody environment. Everybody loves music. Uh, <laughs> Mika's not a dragonborn. She is an Eladrin wizard with a spell. Yes, I, yeah. I cast Dragon's Breath on myself. All right. So they're gonna roll saving throws. What's the DC on your spells? Twelve. All Wait. right. 
DC, just kidding. How do I know that? It's eight plus your proficiency modifier, which is two. What's your intelligence modifier? My intelligence modifier is plus two, but it's 15. Wait, yeah, int, int is plus two. Yeah. yeah, so your DC is 12. 12. The okay. math yeah. checks out. You're right, math checks All out. All right, well, two of them failed. Uh, Aha. I'm going to... And the third one succeeded. I'm just going to roll a quick thing. Okay. All right. The one who succeeded on his saving throw is the grievously injured one. Please roll for damage. Okay. That is. How much do you do? 3d8. 3d8. But she had to burn a spell. Right. No. So, I, yeah. That's true. I did have to burn a spell. Yeah. But you can do yeah. this how many right, more times? It's a lot of acid. Uh, how many times can you spit this breath? For like a minute. A minute, which is wow. a bit. That's a yeah. lot. That's you a can bit. just keep chaining it's a lot of it. Rounds. It's pretty uh, good. Yeah. Six, nine points of acid. Nine. Okay. <laughs> well, the sounds emerging from the balcony are horrible. <laughs> just <laughs> screams as their flesh melts and the cloaks that they were wearing fuses in and it all becomes this oh. awful slurry. And the last thing they see is this elf nimbly running along a tree and then just. <laughs> <laughs> And they're it's dead. not very princess-like. <laughs> do I? Do I? Oh, I'm, I'm prone, so I can't see this. Yeah, and they're 20 feet down, so you just hear, Aah! I'd be surprised. And then after I take out my handkerchief and not sound chill. dab at the corners of my throat, but, of my mouth, yeah. See? We said princess-like. Princess -like. Yeah, we're right. good. Princess -like. <laughs> uh, how many did I kill? Just two of them? Uh, three of them. Please oh, remove, yeah. Princess-like. I mean, you did how a cone, did you were sort of up here. Yeah. It spreads out when yeah. it goes down there. They're done now. They're, they're, they're gone, though. All right. Absolutely do. Yeah. Nobody. Very good. Sorry about almost skipping not you. See that no, coming. no, you're good. <laughs> all right. The uh, the iron console who's still up. He just sees all these trees everywhere. He sees the two of you down. He's like, and he stabs you. <laughs> <laughs> end it. End the campaign. You. He just starts stabbing the shit out of you. Yes, Mark if a you failure. Hit negative ten. You're dead. Mm. Oh wait a second. It's I three. Can, uh... Oh. Ooh. You're on the floor, Marcus. Yeah, I mean, yeah. can I can I react while I'm on the floor? You can react. What's what's the thing do? The reaction is a, a protection. While wielding a shield, uh, if if you attack me, uh, if you attack somebody, if somebody gets attacked within five feet of me, I can use my reaction to impose disadvantage on their attack roll. Okay, then wow. he has advantage because he's prone. Mm. You give disadvantage. We're going to resolve this with a normalized roll. Right. So you just sort of flail to try and yeah. keep your shield over your grandfather's body. Yeah, no, sorry. His armor class is so trash that oh, it still goes through. You have now one failure marked on there. Mm -hmm. Yep, I do. So a success and a failure? Yes. Ah, Tiberius. I'm in the water. You are in the one water. One last ride. I can't stabilize you from the water. Tiberius would one want you to save the people. Session. I don't know that you're dying. That's it. It's true. Yeah, it doesn't I, matter at want, this point. She would There's want no to save her father but she doesn't know She's he's like, dying la, 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 you want to be a forest well, ghost it's for your turn what do you do <laughs> forest ghost coast to coast what will you do forest ghost uh, i said forest ghost well forest i would um yeah. try to uh so you you said uh the current but um it does say that i ignore any drawbacks caused by a deep underwater environment so. that's like heavy pressure crushing gotcha. you this, cool. You're still going to have so to roll some skill I'll checks to get to, out of this one. Uh, swim to the surface with, okay. the, with the priestess. A tree just rips right out of the wall. Roll an athletics check with advantage because you're very familiar with underwater areas. Okay. But this is strength based because you're trying to haul the high priestess. Uh, 19 Ooh. or a 22. Those are both fine. <laughs> uh, with your movement, you manage to drag her to the surface. She's coughing and choking, and the fine ceremonial like makeup that was applied is mm -hmm. just everywhere. The headdress is lost somewhere in the river, but you've reached the surface. What would you like to do? I would like to bring her to shore if I can. All right, go ahead. Um, so I would try to get out of the water and drag her onto shore. Mm-hmm. Uh, at which point, I assume I would know that the balcony has crumbled. At least, yes. At least I would have. And there's that. a lot of trees. And there's a lot of trees, and what? I would be super confused. What happens to the people? Um, the crowds. So they they started panicking when the fight broke out, and there are still civilians on the streets. They I'm not marking the map with them because that's a lot, but just assume that the streets have rubble and trees and screaming civilians fleeing and looking for safety. Interesting. Dodging acid breath and yeah. fireballs and all sorts. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were avoiding the sharp pointy objects so they weren't in, yeah. in the immediate vicinity they might have got a little splatter and discolored their clothes a little bleaching here and there but mm -hmm. the acid they're fine on all right what else and uh next up we're going to have the surviving mika brindar rises to his feet on your turn yay 
And he's going to... What weapon does he wield? Uh, I think he wields a great sword. Great. Roll an attack for him. Wonderful. 19. Roll Why t- is he rolling better than me? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and continue to take your turn. Roll 2d6. Oh, it's still my turn? It's still your turn. Cool. Well, uh, having dragged her out of the water, I would... Uh, Can I have that piece Naturally, back, please? Naturally, my, my, uh, one. One. my yeah, father is the most qualified to help because he can help with everything. So I'd have <laughs> dragged her to shore and turned to look for help. And as I see the balcony <laughs> crumbling and all of the trees... Father! <laughs> How do we are you? We got trouble. Did you did you bring the trees? <laughs> <laughs> Was that you? Father and then like looking around and like probably walking mm-hmm. towards the balcony. Like I would make sure that she's okay. Does she seem stable? Is she she's Yeah, coughing, she's so. she's not unconscious. She's like coughing up water. So yeah, mm-hmm. so I'd be like, Oh yeah, all right, yeah, all right and like walk away mm-hmm. from her toward like looking for my family. Right. Basically. All right, go ahead and move yourself up to the balcony. Uh, we will go ahead and move right along. I believe that all of the little pebbles have been slaughtered at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll strike them from the record. Uh, let's go ahead and bring Lonre around to actually do something helpful. The, that piece right there. Yes. He's going to roll an athletics check. He's a halfling. It's not particularly successful. He just tries to jump up and use his weapon to like do a, a full hold on the guy. He just throws him off. Mm-hmm. So... Mm-hmm. Thanks, you have not been useful. Little, little he has, little he has not been particularly go. helpful. Uh, Josh, your turn. Okay, uh, I'm going to rise to my feet. That takes half your movement. Go ahead and do so. Uh, but I can still use an action. Correct. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, whack this guy. I'm going to whack him. Uh, Me Hit him Ooh. for. Oh, rather, I. It's uh, so a 23 to hit. Yeah, you hit him. Yep. <laughs> uh, hit him for six damage. All right. A telling blow, but he's only taken 14 at this point. This is a tough bastard. Mm, And he's on a mission. Yeah. Uh, And that is, uh, that's it for me. All right. Uh, Let's go ahead and move on. We have Doa, then Bren, then Mika. Uh, Can I, I'll stand up and I'll move over to uh, Tiberius. Mm -hmm. And I will cast uh, Cure Wounds at the second level. All right. Go and roll 2d8. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. Here's my other D8. One D8. Oh, you want another one? Uh, no. Two. And seven. So, nine. Uh, plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which is... Charisma, so it's like a four. Three. 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 Yeah. Uh, so, you're at full health. Wow. But that, well, fa- that failure stays. Mm. Yeah. Really? Yes. Those only recover on a long rest. Ah. So, if you keep getting brought low, it's right. not great. And you're still prone because you haven't had a turn yet. <laughs> 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 the immersion. Okay. Where did the bloody hell of these trees come from? That was a close call. It's nice of you <sighs> to give them a fighting chance. But that was a little bit too close for me. Thank you very much, Bendy Boy. Anytime. Bendy Boy. <laughs> Just uh, penning Bendy a little boy. line about myself there in the, the epic, <sighs> if you don't mind. Just keep out of the way, Grandad. I've got him. Oh, Bollocks to you, Ava Marcus. Where is he? <laughs> well, yeah, it's your turn. He's right there. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up. All right. Oh, and uh, as I get myself to my feet, I notice this guy's just kind of being battered a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm pissed that he has tarnished my name, this reputation I built up. Obviously, I mean, reputation enough that they would come and try and personally kill me. <laughs> so you know, I'm a little bit True. pleased with that. But at the same time, Tiberius wants some payback. And, uh, you know, his sight's not what he used to. There's a little half just behind him. Can't quite see him. So I guess I'll just uh, spray fire everywhere again. As I begin oh, to, goodness. once again, <laughs> seething with rage. I have dragon scales in my hands. A bit over, overzealous with the, with the dragon scales. A few of them will scatter here and I've there. I've got a fistful of the dragon <laughs> scales as I begin to chuck them in the For air. a few dragon scales more. Go in on. Cantasignatus! And I just call down another pillar of fire as it slams down in front of him five feet uh, by 30 in, in, in one direction as I just target him. Maybe catching a few of you in the process. Oh, uh, the halfling may be in a little bit I think it's just that. I think, it, I think it might catch me, honestly. Yeah, I've, I've positioned myself in between the two of you deliberately. Oh, shit. oh that's true. Yeah. Alright, so Rip Lamray. Before we do that, um, as these trees are just popping up everywhere, left and right, they bring with them 
a bizarre disruption of the local magical field, one that resonates very well with you, much like a raindrop falling down a window will reach out and merge with other raindrops. So as the spell bursts forth from your hands, with it comes a chaotic torrent of energies. Could I please have, oh, let's say the four of you each roll a d10. Oh, Wait, yes! Just roll a d10, yes! trust, trust me, me on this one. Uh, I'm, well, I'm who, do you, who do you mean the four of us? I just need so, these four. Just I, need, just oh. need four. Okay. Yeah, I just okay. we're generating a number between seven. We're generating a number between one and ten thousand. Okay. Seven, Are we gonna blow up one. the sun again? <laughs> no, seven one six. That's a uh, corner. Yeah. Guy. Sorry. Seven one six. Oh, this isn't damage. It is not. Right. Seven one six six. All right. Let me consult my table of ten thousand wild so surges long. real it quick. It takes so long to scroll through it. And this isn't like last time, it's not every single spell, oh. but it's definitely this one. 7166. So we have 10,000 possible wild surges. <laughs> last time we almost blew and up this the is, sun. This is because you're senile, right? Like you haven't quite got control of your magic. Because oh, you're a ridiculously you know, powerful sorcerer. Fairy magic all around me. I'm just going to grasp onto whatever there is. You right, know? okay, fantastic. Okay, in theory, who's, in, who's in the area powerful. of effect? The three, so definitely you are. me. And the paladin, I would killer, say. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, but you're well, at. Well, you're, which way are you aiming? At? You're at an angle. You're aiming at that guy. At this guy. And which one is you? I five think the paladin's feet, actually wide, fine. I think feet. you're being hosed this with fire, yeah. though. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. So why don't you go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw? Yeah. Do that. A twenty-one. Whoa. A five. <laughs> hmm. uh, uh. I um. Can I use a sorcery point to reroll one of the damage? Yes. Oh boy. Woo. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You made your save. You'll take yeah, half. Is, yeah. uh, 17 damage. So you take half of that. Woo. You take eight points of damage. Eight yeah. points of damage. Oh, and homeboy here is taking 41. Is he still up? I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of thinking... Yes, actually. Yikes. Wow. He's not happy Ooh. about it. He's having a bad day. Now it says here that one of my one of my reactions uh, uh, oh, happens when I get attacked. Now on fire. Um, hit by an attack is, is the mm -hmm. is the wording for it. Hit what? by attack does that uh, also take into account spells? What does the ability allow you to do? It's shield. It's mm -hmm. a reaction which you take when you are hit by an attack, and it creates an invisible barrier around me. But it only Door I can only trigger the reaction as I'm getting hit. What does the barrier oh, give you? I believe shield just increases your armor class, it right? It just increases my That's armor That's not going to help you. Okay. Well, so okay, the way, we'll yeah. So basically, if he attacks you, you can raise the shield to give yourself an armor before he even hits. Right. So I roll it and it's like, oh, I got 18. And you say shield. Right. Before I announce the success okay, or failure. I see. Yeah. Mm. So that's how that one's going to work. Right, I get it. Um, Mika, as the fire rages past you again, you notice it contorting and flickering in and out of existence in a very unstable fashion. Roll an arcana check. Okay. Still just an eight, though. All right. Uh, there's definitely something wrong with it, but you can't pinpoint it. Got it. All right. Uh, so the Iron Console is covered in flames, and his mask is on fire, and he's having a miserable, miserable time. And it's actually Mika's turn. Uh, uh, chat has also asked if the forest is on fire. No. <laughs> no. A couple of branches, yes. But uh, because of Bren. That's it's not, not because of... No, 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 no. Right. No, it's a very like living forest. It's very healthy wood. Very, it has plenty of water. Obviously, it's actually surprisingly hard to start a forest fire unless you have dry wood and a lot of kindling. I buy that. All yeah. Right. Um, I would like to run back up the tree. Okay, that's um, fine. So I'm back up there now, and I <laughs> come on, chromatic orb. We're gonna try this <laughs> one again, and I'm gonna do it at. Uh, I'll cast it at second level. Why not? Okay. Um. <laughs> doesn't hit him. That's unlucky. That's so unlucky. Very unlucky. Hey, you killed three guys. I did kill. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And I can't use You're my breath. You're not on Tiberius's level yet. If but I use you my get in there. You shut up, or I'm gonna breath you. <laughs> <laughs> you get real close to being breath hey, you. You came to learn under me. I'm just saying. Um. <laughs> so. Mm, Wait, oh no, it's only the spells that I'm a class of, and Dragon's Breath is not a spell. It's that evocation, I'm a class. It's evocation, right? Yeah. It's not transmutation. Yeah. Are you transmuter or a diviner? I'm an evocation wizard. Oh, so 
Evo, so you, you ended up going with evocation. Yes. Okay, and, I thought you were going with divination. Dragon's Breath is a school of transmutation. Right, because it changes you. Okay. Yeah. What about the chromatic orb? Chromatic orb is evocation. Okay, does that do anything for you? No, but situation? I was going to say if I wanted to, I can, if I do a cone of something, mm -hmm. that's evocation, I can mm -hmm. choose it to not affect allies, but mm -hmm. only affect enemies. Right, so that's Dragon's it. Breath, mm -hmm. tis not. Wrong so. type of spell. Unlucky. Mm -hmm. what, what would you like Brindar to do? Brind, oh. <laughs> He's downstairs now, right? Yeah. C can he climb the balcony? Yeah. Put him on top. That'll cool. take his whole turn. That'll mm -hmm. take his whole turn. So he's up there now. All right. Ready to fight. Now, I know we've gone a little bit late because we've got a little bit of a late start. So we'll start moving towards a, gra a natural conclusion here. Okay. Um, but again, we had a late start. His turn. He is going to go down fighting. And at all costs, he's going to try to kill the hated sorcerer, Tiberius Wanderstave. He will shift five feet to his left. You can try, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll take his spear. He's coughing and he's bleeding and half of his face is just gone. He's looking. He's got his eyeball with no eyelid looking at you after you roasted him. And he's just going to drive that spear right towards your heart. <laughs> and I'm going to grip it with both hands. <laughs> Tear it away from him and say, Naughty boy! <laughs> and snap the spear over my legs. Seems fair. Well, <laughs> seems fair. This checks out. This this checks out. I argue with that. <laughs> All right. Um, ba -ba -bum. All right, so as you do this, more trees break through and you hear more masonry falling down and a crowd of panicked people start rushing down this way trying to flee from an awful disaster off in the corner. They're just stampeding along the way. You see people being caught up in the, in the snow, falling behind, getting trampled. Uh, so that whole area is a bad place to be right now. Mm. Josh, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna swing at this guy. Uh, 16. That'll do it. 12. So what happens to him? Uh, I, he's already just had his spear snapped in half. And so as he has kind of gone past me to go mm -hmm. with this big lunging thrust towards my grandfather, who will just not stay out of fights as much <laughs> as I ask him to, uh, I turn around and it on the back of his head with All right. my big war hammer. All right. Well, what happens after that is best left undescribed, but it involves a very loud, wet splash. Ugh. <laughs> I'm going to wipe my hammer on, on the back of his uh, cloak as well. Just trying to scrape brain off of my off of my hammer. All right. That's just unnecessary. Whilst glaring at my granddad. Would you stop taking part in fights? You got knocked down on the floor. I thought you were going to die. Well, what would you have me do? Just sit there behind my shield and wait for me to kill him. Pa! Absolutely not. Doesn't make a very good story, does it? Absolutely, Bendy boy. He couldn't remember the story if you wrote it in the first place. I am writing it, so he doesn't have to. Yeah. What has happened to all the trees? I thought that Her, was you. Did you raise these trees? Was that you? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. The rampaging crowd approaches the high priestess who's still sputtering for breath on the shore. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, can I, can I just <laughs> All right. Into the, into the face of the stampeding crowd, certainly. Yep. Yeah. And I All grab right. her and dive into the river. Again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to swim like down river trying to get away from the crowd and then swim back All right. Uh, let's go around the table while you're taking care of that. Mika, what will you do? Uh, I'm going to like slowly shuffle over to Brindar mm -hmm. and I'm going to dust him off because he was on the ground and then he's going to dust me off because I was in a fight. And uh, I think I'm just going to stand next to him and watch them all argue with each other silently. All right. A tree bursts through the wall of the canyon over on the side. And you see part of the hanging garden just collapse into the water. As I see things collapsing, mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of whisper in Elvish to Brenda, like, make sure nobody sees what I'm doing. And I'm going to start picking things from the garden for, like, <laughs> spells later on. Okay. Because I've seen some of these plants. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that would come in handy later. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just kind of... Uh, it's kind of looting the bodies. Uh, oh, the looting the city. It's different yeah, yeah. than looting the bodies. Do you have investigate or do you... Uh, I'll take investigate if you have it. Otherwise, Arcana with slightly reduced results. I will do Arcana. Okay. Go ahead and give me a roll. Uh, 18. All right. Excellent. Um, you managed to find a couple of leaves from a type of grape that only grows in the giant's strongholds on the clouds. 
Ooh. Yes. So some. Put that on my notes. Yeah. Some ice grape leaves. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? We'll go around. So you just you just jumped in the river. You just dusted him up. There's still trees popping up and a rampaging stampede of people fleeing from falling masonry. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, the two bodies that have fallen in front of us, the assassin and the iron cudgel person. Yes. Uh, I'm going to rifle through their belongings, mm -hmm. not looking for anything for myself, mm -hmm. looking for an identification of where they would have come from or how they got their clothing mm -hmm. and snuck into such a big place like this. And basically, I'm trying to figure out how this could have happened. Okay. Because attacks like this on my granddad are... They, they don't happen as frequently as they used to. It's been a while, yes. You find... Well... All right. The assassin, the blade he was wielding that is now stained with venom. Do you have history at all? Uh, let me have a look. I have... Where am I looking here? Skills. Uh, plus two to history. Plus two to history. All right, I will tell you this much. It looks very old. It has a brass, shiny brass handle wrapped in a red leather. And across the blade is filigree. Well, it's not filigree because it's not gold, but inlaid brass symbols of flames, very stylized flames. Doesn't mean much to you, but it is very unusual. Okay, I'm going to see that and try and strap it to my uh, to my belt All right. in some way. Uh, not that I can draw it, just to stash it mm -hmm. for, for a, in a little bit. Uh, and then just get back up and check on what my granddad's doing. All right, go ahead and add a uh, brass-handled kukri to your notes or inventory. Tiberius. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up my uh, my hat that's made mm -hmm. in the fashion of these uh, of, of an area of which I cannot pronounce, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put it on my head, dust it off, and I'm gonna start to inspect some of the remnants of the flames. I noticed they were twirling in a uh, odd mm -hmm. fashion. Just any burning cinders on the floor. See if I can mm -hmm. uh, find out what's going on there, because. I've cast that spell a couple of times, and I don't really remember it ever looking like that. And I can feel the taint of fey magic in the air. A little yeah, bit. roll an arcana check. That was a 13. All right, the power of the fey magic has always been very closely tied into your being. It's what drives much of your power. It's the gift you were born with. This was not, this did not originate from you. This reached out from afar and connected with you mm. and used you as a vessel. Some of it also seems to be sticking invisibly to your grandson's feet and his hands. Huh. Some of what is sticking to my, <laughs> my hands? No, you don't know anything uh, about that. Don't worry. Don't. Come over here, boy. Uh, what, what? what is it, granddad? So I, I don't know what it is. I, I, I may have messed up, I'll be honest with you. Messed up what? Messed up? Did you cause the tree? I think I've got ectoplasm all over your feet. Ecto, ecto I, what? I hate to tell you this, but you may be dead within seven days. I've seen this before. I've seen this before on my travels. I, I apologize, Marcus. You've done well to defend me, but I believe your time is up. Tiberius, you for real? Yes. Well, get it off me. Well, I don't know how. What do you mean? You put it on there. Well, I know someone who might know, but they're, they're, they're a while away. I'm going to be, while I see this happening, I'm going to be just taking a couple steps back. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna writing. I'm, I'm gonna kind of scrape my hands. Uh, they seem what's... fine. That that won't help. That won't they help. Seem it's completely an invisible fine. taint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's gonna happen to me? Happy National well, Nut Day, nine, everybody. National Nut Day. Well, let's go meet the person then. Obviously, yeah. I, if I die, you die, you muppet. Well, not really. I, I mean, clearly, I'm more capable. I was the one who kind of got the finishing blow. You nearly died there. You I healed I, him. I <laughs> shot from across the room. In the head, ah, you that's idiot. right, Bendy boy. <laughs> Keep it going. That's right. <laughs> anyway, listen, Grandad, let's get out of here. Help! What? What is? What is <laughs> where, where did these trees come from? I don't know. I thought that was you. <laughs> Why is everybody blaming it on me? Should we think about about that fleeing? Fle uh, well, that would I be mean, smart. I'm not going to call it fleeing in the song. Don't worry. It'll be a tactical retreat. Yes, yes. Can you fetch my robe? <laughs> Great not the fancy one. The, I'm wearing the fancy one. It's not very good against blades. Can you, fa can you fetch my good one? Oh, you want the, the armored robe? Yes, yes. That, uh, that we always carry around with us. Well, no, you don't have it. Go to my house and find it, you dimwit. <laughs> no, I'm staying with you. You're coming to the house if I'm coming to the house. Where is our house? Is this this, this is your house. <laughs> I, this, you're, you're at your house. And while all this is my of them house? are arguing, I mm -hmm. kind of like tug on Brindar's sleeve, and I'm like, "Did no one notice I melted three people?" Uh, <laughs> yes, very good. Yes, find my robe. 
Well, come with me, and we'll both find the room. He, okay. he peers over the balcony, looks up there. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I just go back to, like, pilfering pat, shit. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <clears throat> mm. Roll an acrobatics check or athletics, whichever is better for you. <laughs> athletics it is. You're the right. only one actually saving people. <laughs> This is the priestess, saving her and then putting her back in harm's way. Uh, 11. Okay. A very strong current seems to have popped up, and up ahead where the riverbed should be full, it is not full, it is going somewhere else. It is going down. Oh, no. Yeah. And there's a giant crack with several trees popping out of it. And What's on the other side down. of the riverbank? Um, right there where you are, it's a solid wall, but up ahead, there's the hanging gardens. If you can just get over the gap, you could grab onto something and climb your way up. Help! <laughs> uh, Unless you have another solution in mind. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, I am going to... Doa, you'll be next, by the way. So wait, so the gap goes like, how, how wide across is it? So the, the the crack is ten feet wide, but it's got a very strong current. And if and you can just going, if I can get through the current? Yeah, basically if you can fight the current, you can grab onto something and pull uh, like in, onto a frond and pull yourself out. Okay, well I'm gonna try. Alrighty then. Um Worst that happens is the priestess dies. I breathe water. <laughs> Rip. All right. <laughs> right. So we'll, we'll find out if the priestess ends up in some subterranean water chasm or, you uh, know, The priestess not. will remember that. She's the priestess of the death god. If yeah. it happens, it happens. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? No possible. Exactly. No possible consequences. Yeah, Roll definitely. an athletics check. Unless you have anything else you'd like to do to assist with this. While Can? the rest of the party just talks about whether or not to go fetch the robe, and you fight <laughs> life or death. <laughs> I'm just observing. I, uh, Drinking it all in. Hang on, let me just double check my spells really fast. I'm sorry, okay. guys. Bren, roll a constitution saving throw. A little bit. That is a 16. All right. Your knee's a little bruised, but not that hurt after breaking a spear <laughs> over it. I just realized which, what, what, what spell I should have cast on you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to forget that I have shield of faith again. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, no, That'll I help. um. That'll help a little bit. Wait, can this? No, I can only destroy ten gallons of water, so <laughs> <laughs> this won't help. Um, okay, I'm going to. As I. Uh, okay. Before I? before you do this. I would like you to roll a d20. We just hit 60 subs. Mm. Oh. oh, boy. We have an act of God. Oh, dear. 10. 10. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let this one depend on whether or not you save her. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. No so pressure. So much pressure. So oh, much pressure. No. Nothing's changed. Don't worry. Yeah. You don't want to save her, too. Who knows? Who knows? She could be an evil priestess. We could be trying to save somebody evil. She That's is it. a priestess of the death. Yes. The death. That reminds me of El Dorado and that dude. Whew. Yeah. He was a he was a mean okay. man. Remember That's the road true. to El Dorado? She parked her okay. giant stone cat statue yeah. around the corner. Thank so you it's for knowing here. what I'm talking about. You <laughs> yeah. are uncultured swine. They didn't have that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I guess. Uh. Um. Okay. I'm gonna fight the current. And mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Oh, how fragile does she look? Oh, no. How breakable is this no. girl? You know, God. under normal circumstances, she'd be fine, but she's been fasting for four days. Javelin her. Oh, Javelin oh, her. Boy. Javelin her. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat her. Well, I was thinking of using Thunder Wave to <laughs> shove her away from me because I'm not... I'm in the fucking water and launch her 10 feet. Yeastis the so priestess. <laughs> Problem is, it also does 2d8 damage. Ooh. That could be two ones. That could be two points. Yeastis the priestess. <laughs> is there any negative? Uh, would the town look negatively on their priestess being yeeted? Well, they'd also look negatively on her dying. I am granting you inspiration for <laughs> Yeastis the priestess. Wow. Very funny. <laughs> All right. Yeastus, the priestess. All right. And our survey says? Our survey says I'm going to uh, get as 
Fuck it, I'm gonna yeast the priest. <laughs> um, yeah. like yeast is in like cook yeast. like bread. <laughs> <laughs> well, Taking hopefully she rises. So. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh. Inspirations oh. at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Okay, but before I yeast the priest, mm -hmm. I am going to... Definitely sounds much worse saying yeast <laughs> the priest. It sounds does. like you've given him a yeast oh. infection. Oh. Happy oh. National oh. Nut Day. Um, Can we yeast. never hear you say that again? <laughs> Please never say that again. That will be the new um, sub reward is that Josh is prohibited from saying that yeah. ever again. Okay, so before I yeet the priest, as I'm swimming against the current, mm -hmm. I am going to... Assume that she is willing to take my help at this point. Yeah. Uh, and like touch her. And <laughs> like, as she, well, she's above water. I'm trying to keep her head above water. Okay. But um, because I know she can't breathe the water. All right. So I'm trying to keep her head above water. I'll touch her. Uh, what? I guess I have like the one arm wrapped around her and it's like gripping her wrist. I pull my other hand to my neck mm -hmm. and like just mm -hmm. blow at her for a second. <laughs> And uh, create a warding bond. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, Some any bubbles, damage uh, she takes while she's within 60 feet of me, mm -hmm. I also take, however, she has resistance to all damage. All right. To all kinds of damage. And she gets a plus one bonus to her armor class. Great. So you link your life force together and then... And then... Then the I toss. eat her. All right. <laughs> Roll 2d8 damage. Uh, so I'm trying to be as close to the wall as I can. I would mm -hmm. cast Thunder Wave and just... Which, she which, actually has... It's the most gentle eating. Which way are you eating? I'm trying to yeet her into the garden. Like, I would... So you, 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 yeah, yeah, so flow a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so you're going right. to yeet her and into the garden. And then I would try to yeet her into the garden. basically used our quote right. of saying yeet for the entire campaign. Nope, yeah. nope. That's, yeah, that's, that's impossible. I will say yeet a thousand more times. It's, I mean, very, very close. Okay, I was going to say four feet, because basically I'm trying to establish if being able to push her ten feet is enough. Yes, it will be sufficient. Cool. Um, then, if possible, mm -hmm. uh, in a 15-foot cube or <laughs> originating from me. Roll 2d8 damage, and she gets launched into the she air. She gets launched. And you're going to take half, whatever the result is, you both take we just 50% of that number instead. Oh By the way, I might die. <laughs> as long as, as your long body would be swept away down the river. Uh, I didn't think this through. Low roll, low roll. We're, we're, we're here now. No, that's pretty good. Five. That's not pretty good. That's not higher than average. Eight. Can you survive Plus. four points of damage? I can. Excellent. Only just, by the way, I have seven hit points, so mm -hmm. no. No modifier on that. 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. All right. Oh, you're four so damage. So All right. I take four. also four damage and I still have three hit points. Wow. All right. Incredible. Doa, do you have anything you yeet. want to do or say as trees continue? <laughs> Somebody even, said you can't man. beat the yeet, and that is <laughs> too true. If you can't beat them, yeet them. <laughs> um, so I this is the princess, is, right? Yeah, so the princess <laughs> is like yeah. on the garden over here somewhere. Oh, over that trees, you know, yep, uh, just go ahead. Uh, at this point, I think. Yeah. What what can, trees and what can more like it's, more. it's an arboretum. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've yeah. upgraded. Do I see the priestess flying through the air? With the greatest of ease. <laughs> All right. Um, well, since I, I can't really contribute too much to the conversation going in here, I, I go to try to help the priestess. I'm like, what in the what? But I recognize <laughs> her that she was important from earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right. Seems uh, seems important to the on the song side of things. So I'm going to uh, go, right. and, go and try song. to pull her out, you know? All right. Fuck just the fact that she's a human. The hey. song. She's yeah. got clout. We have to save her. It's like doing yeah. it for the vine. Exactly. Exactly. We're doing it for the song. Case, doing it for the vine. Oh, terrible no. pun. Oh, <laughs> terrible <laughs> pun. It was funny. Uh, all right. So, as you go to assist her, she coughs and she reaches up to like grab on to your to your shirt okay. for support. Bring me, me Tiberius. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tiberius! This lady <laughs> wants to talk to you. And I, I like heave her out of the, the water. That? Yeah. All right. Who is that? that? That's the that's the priestess of death. No God, hide me. Hey, remember <laughs> this is like we, this is the this is the party. It's well, for, uh, it's for her. <clears throat> yes, I, 
I'm going to try and sense some fey magic. Is, is there any sort of tether to the fey still in the air? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try oh and tap into that and, and cast just a basic spell to try and channel some of that energy to try and get out of this situation. That's a great idea. Could I have the four of you this time each roll a d10? Oh, Phenomenal. Sure. Thank you, Brennan. Excellent work. Great. Eight. Uh, five. Where Eight, five. Three. Eight, what? five, three. Uh, it's this, but without yeah, the zero, so you right. could just roll that and then take off the zero. Nine. Yeah. Just casting uh, light on intentional wild on my clothes. Or <laughs> okay, or um, something completely different. Bren is feeding. <laughs> uh, okay, so a couple of things happen. First off, you become completely invisible. <laughs> As I planned. Amazing. <laughs> Second off, your grandson becomes completely invisible. Whoa! Except I... oh. for his hands and his feet. <laughs> He's like reverse Rayman. Can I tell that I'm invisible? Or do I still look the same to me? You can tell you're invisible. Except but I, for your hands. So I can't see any of my body apart from my hands and my feet. Correct. Oh god! Oh god! God! Tiberius, what the hell have you done? I'm gonna book it. Gonna, <laughs> I can't see him either. You call Correct. your grandfather He's invisible. by his first name? That's when I'm angry weird, with him, man. When I'm angry with him, yes. All right, that's kind of strange. I'm gonna run inside my house and try and find my adventuring gear because it's time to go on an adventure. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna rummage through the remnants of my house trying to find the, the my my old gear. I'm gonna mm -hmm. assume he snuck off to go and find that robe. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go to the place where the robe is hidden. Alright. I'm gonna turn to the priest and be like, I don't know, he was just here a second ago. He's I don't see him now. Sorry. <laughs> I, I wave bye bye with my hand. That's <laughs> yeah, weird. <laughs> I've seen those before. <laughs> you see them running off in a particular direction. Oh, okay. I'm like uh I'm like you're fine. I'm gonna head that way too. All right, uh, you Help! you 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 managed to stumble. <laughs> up. Help! You don't you want to be in the water? Like it All seems right. like you'd be quite comfortable there. What will you do as uh, you see him him turn invisible, him turn partially invisible, and they start booking it? So I see that, and I send Moon in to follow the the hands and feet, mm -hmm. and I tell him to report back to me later because right. I want to know what's happening over there. But I think I hear screams of help, right? Mm -hmm. Probably. So, uh, Brendar and I will run down the stairs to, do we see, are you, are you sticking out of the water? I, I, I am above water. Yes. Wait, you're above water? Mm-hmm. Okay. How would you be able to help if she sort of flounders a bit? I didn't think this through. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I just walked outside. Um... Take ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, Brindar pulls out a rope. <laughs> Praise Brindar! Okay, so I'm gonna turn to him and be like, "Thanks," and I'm gonna throw the rope. Then I'm gonna go catch, and then I catch the whole rope. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, 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 I retract the statement. I tie, I tie one end to Brindar's waist because, because he is like a brick man. He just, <laughs> he just stands there like a brick man, and then I throw the other end of the rope. And I also hold on to him to help stabilize him, even though I'm like 80 pounds soaking wet. So oh. you, I, I can see you like going through, okay, here's the candles, and here's the chalk, and here's the ritual circle. <laughs> and he's just like, rope. <laughs> None of this will help. Uh, do, I, do, do I have to like roll a strength? No, nah, we'll let him? you get out of okay. that way. It's, cool. You're a proficient swimmer. I'm he's a, very good a brick swimmer. of a man. So between the two of you. When she gets out on the shore, I just kind of kneel down and pat her on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's quite kind of you. What was your name again? Freya. Freya, that's right. Thank you. Of course. Now, are you going to continuously drown, or will you be more helpful later on? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, is it, is any consolation to you? I can't world. drown. Wonderful. And then I just walk off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Brindor follows with behind me. Cool. All right. Where are you walking? Are you going to? I'm going back the up. I'm going That's back up cold. stairs to meet up with my. Faden's kind of just standing there, like, "Well, I saved her." So well, I saved the priestess, <laughs> and I'm Did just nobody <laughs> see that I saved the priestess. <laughs> gone. So yeah, I, I'm gone. I, I see this. <laughs> so with your familiar's help, mm -hmm. you're able to tell that he oh, is skipping town. You have no idea where he's going, but so you know he's skipping town. Okay. And based on the magical energies he's wielded and the magical energies of this apocalypse that is tearing this city from its foundations, yes. the two are linked somehow. 
So knowing this, I think I kind of get sent into a panic and I, you're gone. And I run up to, I run back downstairs and I'm like, from what I've heard of your screaming, this is your dad. He's about to leave. Follow us. And I run back upstairs and then I go to you and I repeat the same message. Like, if you want to come, follow us. And then I just start running. Oh, I already uh, followed them. Oh, you hands. follow them? Okay, yeah. then it's just then After just saving you. the priestess, oh. I decided to yeah. go be like, that bloody down. hell. Then I, I run <laughs> off in the direction where my familiar is and try and catch up with everybody. We've just left start the running. poor priestess of oh, death. Oh, she was already there. Like, hey, guys, I yeah, saved she's the saved. priestess. She's saved. Oh, she's good. She's fine. I, I, um, are you all right there, miss? That priestess. Oh. As I, I I took your notes and I'm like <laughs> starting to kind of run away, but like as I'm like backtracking, like, are you okay? We good? We good? Look, you can see retainers and people coming to to her aid. She's very important. They're trying to get her out and get her to safety. As she just says, "Where is Tiberius?" <laughs> <laughs> Remember, uh, my name's Faden. I-, I saved you. It was me. Yeah. I did. Oh, I, you, pulled, I right? saw her you, flying you, through the air. You get a glance. Water, you I get sort you. of this measured me. Glance. Feed and wonder, Steve. No. Balance. <laughs> Bring me Tiberius. Bring the girl. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Valens asks me last name though. <laughs> wonder, Steve. It's just the, in the middle, middle bit that concerns me. <laughs> All right. So, as the lot of you, as you you go in, you find your secret this stash. You're, you you go in, you do the John Wick. You break open the floor. You get out all the <laughs> no, gear. Do the now, John Wick. I, I didn't plan any of the gear, so I'm just gonna leave it up to your discretion. Yeah, that's fine. And it's it's not the good stash. It's no. just your emergency stash. The emergency stash. And so, with the uh, with with a, a doddering old senile mage who may or may not have just triggered an apocalypse that destroyed this Masaru, the city of earthly prosperity, <laughs> heading off on an adventure with no destination whatsoever in mind, fleeing from the new high priestess of the city who thinks he may or may not be involved, the lot of you flee from the city. And as you leave, you see that you can't see anything because there are trees for miles and miles, the steps of Iman Karak have been completely transformed into a forest. Well, hmm. all right. Th- this changed fast. Much is there invisible. no longer a river here? Not for much longer. Ah. There's still a river. It's got a lot of trees in it. I you see just boats just lifted out of the river on trees. Am I essentially following his robes that he's put on and like the belt that he's tied yeah. around his waist yeah. these things aren't invisible yeah the invisibility doesn't last long it lasts long enough for you to break into your stash and sort of scoot out and you tag right. along and then it fades and you're dodging patrols and the lot alright then <laughs> <laughs> it's my adventuring voice <laughs> every now and then what you do da uh, well uh, I think it's time to go off then hmm? where are we going I don't know and on that note, thank you for watching Casters and Castles. <laughs> I think we'll call it there. Oh my goodness. Excellent.